So this morning I was listening to Cosmic Crit. Besides, that's what medics are. Yeah, I chose the ride home. And they say, uh, and the game was paused for 20 minutes while we read up on the rules for this specific thing. <laughs> and this way we won't have to worry about it during play. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What was the specific thing that we should be researching? <laughs> uh, actually, it was travel through the jungle. Okay. Jackson, did you print out the cards that you sent us, the cheat sheets? He's still over there. Perfect. Mmm. That's great. Well, uh, um, all right, so. so... Oh, and I'm going to add on to that. I'm going to pick up some extra ammo for the um, tactile mm. uh, pistol. You didn't give me a sound effect for the tactile pistol, though. Oh, I didn't think of it. I'm not going to use it that much. So it's all right. I think that one just goes bang. All right, so he, he can do a stone sound effect for that. Bang, bang, bang! No, that's my thing! <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, um, when we last left off at the end of session four, you guys had um, found evidence that the hard side kings under the auspices of the of Astral Extractions had arranged for the murder of uh, Durval Creel. Downside kings? Does this say down? That's, that's a downside the... king, sorry. Uh, yeah, you, had noti- you had notified Chiskix. And in, and in appreciation for that, Chiskix promoted you all to actual Starfinder Society members. Hmm. I feel like it should not be that easy. The next day... They were decimated recently. They, they what do you mean? We like murdered people in a Actually, they lost 80%. It's like really hard. So that's a lot more than 10. Yes. Decimation is 10%. And it's death C. So they were... Uh, Mar- Mar- to Marvel only was calling the snap 20, the decimation 20%. for a while. They down only 10% of their population. 20%. They were decimated. Mm. If they're down ten percent, then they were decimated. Yes, mm-hmm. they're, down they're double decimated. No, that's that's like they're do- they they lost four fits. I read it up today. They were double decimated. There you go. <laughs> Works for me too. Once you guys were that's official fine. members, I um, believe they were octo decimated. This is a uh, decahedron. Ozzy received some information on the Hell Knights that he'd been asking about. He hasn't had a chance to read it yet. Ozzy was very busy doing soldiery things. <laughs> push-ups. <laughs> yeah, push-ups. Cleaning his weapon. Absolutely. Yep. I was busy oh getting excited about going to the dead planet. Um, and Naala, Naala had requested all, all information on the Scoured Stars incident. And they are collecting that for you now. Mm. That involves her grandmother for those who Oh, right. Your grandmother was killed? Well, yeah, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. Oh, she disappeared. Lost. Lost. Yes. She go bye-bye. Well, how did? By the way, uh, I, I can't recall. How did Eox, the undead planet, become the? Un- was it ever living? Was it? Yes, it was living. Wow. Okay. They had. They, yeah, I read the, up on that too, and I don't remember. There was a. I forget if they, they were trying to fight somebody else, and they had a weapon that went off poorly, or, or something. Like that. I forget. Hmm. Um, Jules will be back in a second. Jeff is getting more food. So they all became undead. That was the only way to live. Otherwise, their planet was going to drag them down with them. Uh, Josh, there was some last-minute shopping. Yes. Uh, anybody else do last-minute shopping besides Bob? No. Besides, besides, uh, uh, I ghost. The, uh yeah, I, 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 so I wanted to answer Bob's question in the email because I figured it's a good answer. So, Bob, I also am, um, hey, Jeff, uh, tra- there's another train. Oh, you don't thank want. God. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but where's the train for him? You don't have to worry about it. So, Josh, yeah, I picked up a couple of those medical dark things. Thanks to the trick for you. Okay. And yeah, you as got well. some serums as well and some, uh, spray yeah. flesh. So, I that is perfect those. because I am going to heal you. I don't care about anybody else. Too bad for you, but I will heal you, Trigger. That's okay, go, go I, 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 I'll heal you too. Excellent. Something became Canadian for a moment there. <laughs> okay, ghost. <laughs> must, be, must be living so close to the border. <laughs> Alright, so after you had um, received your accolades and promotions, promotions, acceptance, whatever it is, mm-hmm. to the Starfinder Society, you were summoned by. Uh, Givalarsk Nor, the Eoxian, Eoxian ambassador, and he had stated he was going to um, act as a moderator between Astral Extractions and the Hard Scrabble Collective, and had arranged for you to go to the Acreon and the Drift Rock to find out just what happened. Uh, he had provided a video camera so that he could keep track of you and broadcast what he chose to broadcast to the station. Is it, That's what I was wondering Does about. it float? It's a drone. It's a drone. It's a drone. How big would you say is this thing? Big and... Uh, it has plot immunity. Leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. That's what I was wondering. Do we need like a, a case to 
bring his in and out, but right. he said that he controls it, nor controls it, so we don't have to worry about that. And, and he asked you to pick up his package. Correct. Uh, Wait, uh, I said, I'm going to call HR immediately. That is not funny, sir. <laughs> he has a, a package waiting to be delivered on the ship. It is addressed his pa- to him. His package, please. <laughs> Jules <is> already done. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he had an additional reward for you for He's that. Dead. What is the uh... when when <laughs> Ghost asked about opening it, he did not uh, say no, but it was clear that he was not approving of that i that idea. I yeah, uh, I tried to push some buttons there, and uh, his reaction was even more mysterious. He's a CR thirteen. He's way outside your league. Which <laughs> really makes me want to open that thing up. I have to say. You guys can have that ethical dilemma later. Yeah, yeah. Oh. If if we find it. If we survive, he, did he mention how big that thing was? By the way, he did not. That is what I was. Yeah, I, I believe I asked that question for that exact reason. Did you I ask it like I did? <laughs> Tastelessly. Did we get off? It was with not this nearly discussion? as much fun. Are we still with him? Uh, the, he said the. the yeah, that's what's the size of this package. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> So the uh, the hippocampus, which is the vessel he's arranged for you to use, is being upgraded to his some, of his, to some additional specifications for his request. Ooh. That will be ready in the morning. Okay. It is afternoon now. You guys left. You did some shopping. It's that night if you wish to do anything else, or we can pick up in, at the Starship Hangar Bay. I'd oh, like Docking Bay. 94. 94. What do they have for dinner? Well, well, I'm going to make like to sure sleep. I pack my bag with some extra snack. We are where... I mean, you usually get hungry often, so, you know, <laughs> lots of snacks. So a lot of granola, huh? Uh, I think I want to use the time to find out more about the Acreon. Like, how many crew are in this thing? How, how big is it? All right. <clears throat> I assume we can get schematics <clears throat> from the Starfighter yes. Society. You know, yeah, this, this, that, that's a struggle I've been, I've been working through because there's no mention of that. So here's the response I'm going to give you. There's a standard. That means we don't ever get there. There's a standard configuration when the ships are released, but these most of these ships, particularly for the hard scalpel collective, have been around a long time, and they've all been redone. That's fair. And there is no accurate record for what you will or won't find in there. Mm-hmm. So I can. I assume there's cargo holds that some have been. I mean, it, you know, the bridge turned into crew quarters. Some have been turned into labs. Walls have been moved. All kinds of stuff. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The bridge is in the front. Engineering is in the back. That's good to know. That this is the standard stuff. I, I can tell you uh, how many entrances is it? There are three airlocks. That's good to know too. Uh, one aft and one on each side. Okay. Port and starboard. Starboard. Did they not give the actual stats on the Acreon in here? I assume that like if it's being towed, there's nobody on the ship, or they're not able to communicate. So well, the ship is is the ship being towed? I forget. How did the ship no, come the back? The, 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 ship, the ship came back on autopilot. Nobody responded. Okay. They okay. quarantined it there. Um, once you get closer to the hippocampus, you can try scanning from there if you want. Right. But uh, I would love to know how many people are normally on the Crew complement, I believe, was six. Oh, six. Oh, so okay. small. Do we know who the crew were? Can we get that information? Like, who, who was the captain and what were the relative skills of... Um, what CR level they were? <coughs> <laughs> how many credit sticks they okay, were Okay, so it, 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 it was... Um, Helmed by it was it was uh, Captain Picard, the first <laughs> officer was Captain Riker. Pickard. <laughs> Captain Pickard. Oh, he's still Pickard. Pickard. for sure. <laughs> I mean, he became a board for crying out loud to survive. So uh, you were able to find the crew manifest. Oh, perfect. there's nothing of, of significant. Does it have um, like I assume? Uh, well, I don't know. It seems like it's a tiny ship. Would it have things like a medical bay? Does it have cafeteria area? It's designed for long-term exploration, so there will be a galley. There so would I would be. Assume, I would assume it's a little bit bigger than we're picturing a six-person. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it was like a great big Battlestar Galactica kind of thing. I'm thinking more expanse. I was going to say, is this total? The, we're going on the Rosanante. Yeah. yeah, this is like the Rosanante. That, that's what I'm, I'm going to call it. Uh, the low deck. The Rosanante had uh, twenty carrying twenty. Oh, that's right. Staff. Yeah. So this is even smaller. This, this actually, this this will carry. Ship from a Martian three, will six, six. Eight, nine, 11. That's a perfect. This one will carry twelve five. as a crew. It has a maximum crew of twelve, but okay. I believe it was six or eight on the crew at the time. All right. So. Um, and the drift rock 
what are the dimensions on that thing? Big. How, how big is that? I don't know if they give me a size. Large, large, I mean, it was not so large that it couldn't be towed. Okay. So there, there's, uh, tow, there's tow cables connecting the drift rock. Space. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to overcome. I still need to overcome the. You know, you still need to be able to steer and and and, and move it. So um, I don't have a size on that in here. It's. I mean, it's. Did I lose my bag for that? Or no. <laughs> I can't take them away. I can't take them away. Yeah. That's good to know. I can just make you roll for stupid things so you have to use it up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it passes muster. Jeff's gone up for thirds. <laughs> wasn't going to eat much either. So. <laughs> uh, was there another question? I forget. Uh, one other question. Can ghosts, with the help of Trigger, this is probably more Trigger's expertise, but um, can he identify the wavelength that the drone is transmitting on? Um... You'd have to it's give me a, Oh, you, 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 I know it's encrypted. <laughs> <laughs> I I was trying to figure out the right words. I was going to say it's encrypted. All attempts to break the encryption have failed. I don't know if it's a computer or a um, engineering check. Okay. I guess it's probably a computer check. Probably. It could be either. Hey, trigger. Wave work check. What, yep. What's your, what's your uh, engineering? Okay, because it's a thirty above that. Are you able to tell what wavelength the drone? Camera is transmitting on. Uh, sure, let's we'll see. Typical. Showgirl. Where's the I, uh, I tap into my little uh, neural network or my exocortex, whatever it's called. It's right here. Okay. All right, so give me a DC check. I would assume mid level uh, microwaves. I mean, that's. And you said if you wanted what? Com com computers or which? Computers or engineering? I'll give it your choice. One, is, one has a higher. Computers is going to be DC-22, engineering is DC-25. You want to let them get this? Uh, it's a signal. Uh, they, they, I will give them the opportunity to block the signal, if that's your question. Okay. Okay, so uh, my engineering and my computers are basically the same. So let's go computers, because it's three less. Uh -huh. Okay. Sounds good. So uh, 13 plus 11 is 24. <laughs> yeah, I, I, what level are you, Mikey? <laughs> The, the, the pluses at level two are astonishing. He is a Yosoki, and they get a racial plus two to engineering. Oh, no, it's still I mean, you can't you can't deny it. It's no, an I astonishing agree. bonus. I no, no, no. It, it, I mean, the fact that I have a, a, a eleven and a twelve in engineering and computers, that's pretty good. Okay, my highest skill is a nine. <laughs> my highest skill is also my nine. next highest skill is a seven. But you can be I have three eights. I think you can I mean, be. I'll, 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 I'll be honest. If there's not much else that's close to that. I mean, those are that's what I specialize. The problem in. is those are smart enough not to get into a fist fight with me. <laughs> so you're you're able to determine that. And um, you're dumb enough to get into a fist fight with me. It, it's in, yeah. well, at least right now on the on the station. Uh, you, you don't have it with you. You won't you won't you won't find it until you're on the ship. But I'll tell you, you can just check on the ship. Um, yeah, it's using a, a basic. Um, radio wave to transmit. Uh, it's encrypted. You can't read the contents of it. Can you can you hack into that thing? If we were to say, oh, I don't know, open up a certain package and then edit oh the God. video so that it looked like we never touched it, uh, can you do that, Trigger? Um, if we have some time, I might be able to try to play around. But are we all in this or um, just this? I don't care. I'll say I, I, I can certainly inter. I, I, I feel like I can certainly. It's dinner conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's dinner conversation. Isn't it going to be live? Uh, we may be able to use the uh, the old uh, Polaroid camera. No, we may hold the picture up in front of the the, uh, <laughs> the scans from the ship to see what's inside. Excuse me for a moment. I must excuse myself. He walks away from the dinner table. Where is he Does going? the drone stay Sensors. with the, the drone? You won't get the drone until you're in, in, in the ship tomorrow. Oh, the drone's not following us yet. No. Oh, no. so we can't talk about this. You can talk about it. Your skill, the check, I'll just roll over till tomorrow. Okay. So. Fair enough. Uh, is this the day that we bought all that stuff or the day after? This is the evening of your after he has asked. You bought all your stuff. You saw Gravelosk Nor the next day. Okay. You went shopping a little so bit more. You're at dinner now. It's a lovely chicken and stuffing casserole, <laughs> <laughs> or it's crickets. I was gonna say I would have loved some sweet potatoes and casserole with crushed. Uh, Actually, it's butter. It's butternut squash and cauliflower. Oh. Except what looks like cauliflower is moving because this is space <laughs> cauliflower. Oh, and there's gah. Space gah. Gah. gah, 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 gah. That's Ooh. the Klingon worm. Klingon. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, because uh, the the armor that that uh, Ozzy bought that was brand spanking new is now already like got dings in it, and it looks like like I don't. It's it's all like marked up and, and kind of tarnished, and it just happened overnight. You have no idea how it happened. He slept hey. in it. He slept in it. <laughs> he's our man. What the hell happened to you? You found the fight club. What do you mean? I don't it's know the either. first rule. Uh, <laughs> he cannot talk okay. about it. <laughs> hey, by the way, you keep asking the, everybody we meet for the same thing over and over again. Who is that group? What did you say you wanted to know about? The Hell Knights. Oh, yeah. The Hell Knights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From what yeah, I understand, they, yeah. <clears throat> they, their mission is to bring order to the galaxy. Which is something I'm very much interested in. Uh, the uh, Hell Knights. The, the, who, whose order? I don't know. They yeah. are the good guys or they are the bad guys? Do you want to give me a... a I don't think he's ever asked you about the Hell Knights. He has not. He asked you, I believe, the first night. Well, they're on the side of order. They must be good, right? Why don't you, um, Ooh, why don't you give me culture checks? Let's see if you've heard of them. Uh, I rolled 13... My culture is six. That's a nineteen. This is 19. That's a good roll. So you are familiar with the Hellmites? Yes, I'm familiar. And with they're, Lost Lost. while they claim to support order, their methods are not always the most neat or appropriate to get to order. Sounds very awesome. Their mean, they're, 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 in their minds, the end justifies the means. So where would you Perfect. put that in an alignment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's. Chaotic. I feel like that's a neutral? chaotic, you chaotic, chaotic, chaotic neutral. neutral. No, actually, they have they have a. It's probably more of a lawful wow. evil, because they have a lawful rule set. But how they get there, it's almost like lawful chaotic. <laughs> but but that's that's what you've heard. So who are these guys, the Hell Knights? I tell them that information, all of it, because they want to be liked. Oh, and I'm going to research them next time I'm in the uh, spot after we have uh, some time off. They've already provided all the information they have to him about Nothing, nothing useful. Mohawk sandbox is down. Oh, and they just got upgraded today. Go figure. So. Oh, every upgrade is a fucking disaster now. Freaking. That too. <coughs> they sound like cops to me. I do not like cops. What are you looking for, Bob? Needler pistol. <laughs> Mikey's thinking about buying one. Analog injection... They cost 105, 1d4 puncture. Oh, but they shoot darts. And okay, they... so the dart itself does do damage. Well, well, if you shoot it out of a pistol. If you shoot out of this pistol, so I, I, I guess I guess what I'm concerned about is you try to eat after the... Jeff, for me, the dark chocolate. The thing I have to take a look at it, Josh, was my concern was if we used it to shoot the healing serum out of it, it does 1d4 damage. Yeah. Open one. No, but if we just throw it, Mike, that one. then we can, uh, I imagine... Not do damage and just do the healing was what I was thinking. Yes, Dar- darts don't have a heal. Don't darts don't do damage. Couldn't find a dart doing damage. <coughs> well, the ammo doesn't do damage. Correct. Gun does. how you the throw. Gun does when fired from the- so you're saying that a wizard in D and D can do more than? <laughs> oh, actually, though, it would be anachronistic. So minus five. Oh, that's right too. Yeah. So one d four minus the five. So probably nothing. Oh, well. So I'm thinking we don't need the needler pistol, Mikey, uh, unless okay. we start getting poisons and cool things like that at some point. Yeah, no, no, that's totally fair. Okay. Good question. Nice observation. Um, Chiskis comes over to you while you guys are at dinner. Hello, Starfinders. It is good to meet with you again. Someday I'll find Chiskis' voice. Oh no, that wasn't what the face was for. Uh-huh. Face is for work. It is the boss bug. How are you, sir? I am fine. <laughs> are you going to accept Gravelar Snore's uh, offer? Oh, yeah, we're going. Everybody Wait. knows about these. How does everybody know what we are doing? Uh, she's our uh, superior? They sent us there, if you recall. <coughs> no, you got an invitation. Oh, I thought this was official. Uh... No? You had the black paper with the, the bone writing? Oh, yeah. But to, to, it was probably, you know, there you was some. Remember, words. Ozzy, we got the Evite and everything. And then the Survey Monkey. No. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like last week at this point. Uh, okay. uh, are we emissaries of the Z Society in this matter? You are certainly operating within 
your roles as starfighters, but you are still independent people. You, you, you can... We will not take heat based on what you do, if that is your question. Do you know if this ambassador is a person <laughs> who is a honors his bargains and his promises? He has been here a long time, many, many years. Many, many revolutions. Mm, that's good. <laughs> that's his, his word is well known. Uh, I believe he, he speaks, I will not say from the heart, but I do believe he speaks the truth when he says, if he, if, if he offers you something or, or, or asks you to do something and offers a reward in, in, in return, that he, is, he will follow through on such a thing. Do you know why he would have a package on the Akira? I do not. This is very strange, right? Yes and no. I mean, it certainly could be that he had them pick something up on the way out, or the way, well, must be the way out, because on the way in, obviously, they did not make it in. Uh. <laughs> What is the society's stand on ownership of the of the rock? That it is not our place to judge this. Judge not. Now, Let's you be judged yourself. Yes, you be judged. Clearly, it's very you all have a, a very uh, officially. We have no no view of this. Unofficially, they killed one of us. The uh, heart. The heart struggle. Cl- Astro Extraction, I was doing the Hard Scrabble Collective is the ones we would support. Is, is the, we, 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 we would support the Hard Scrabble Collective. Um, in, in fact, there was a person from uh, Astral Extractions here earlier looking for you. I believe they were going to attempt to persuade you to join them, but I knew that that would simply be a waste of your time and theirs. Did you tell them to bug off? <laughs> I was oh, not quite the they term I used, start. but yes, I told them to go back in the hole I came from. Not as good as bug off. (laughs) 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 Do you know what system the Akiran was in? The Akiran? Yes. No, it was exploring the diaspora. It made a short leap through the drift. Oh, it was in the drift. It picked, that's why it's called the drift rock. All right, okay. That's why we call it the drift rock, because it came from the drift. Uh, You are smart. I thought it was just drifting That is why you are the boss bug. That is why I am the boss bug. Boss bug. Uh, okay, can you speak now? He, he, no, he can't talk. He's you eating. Can't talk. He's eating. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, so he can't talk. He's eating. Oh, there's a tired puppy here, dear. <laughs> I guess this is a dinner conversation. <laughs> She's making it real. <coughs> she, does, she does have. Anyway. She has telepathy, actually. Yes. And can still talk. Anyway, I, I reckon. Just, just so you know, Mikey. Uh, Jeff can't eat because he, Jeff can't talk because he's eating, and he's making a very big show of making sure to Jules that he's not talking because he's eating. <laughs> he's holding up his finger a lot, yeah. chewing. He's, okay. he's eating uh, yogurt covered or uh, chocolate covered raisins and uh, chocolate bark stuff. Almonds, oh. almonds, yeah, whatever. Well, just just so you know, that's what all the laughing is about. Do you have okay. any advice for us, Boss Bug, about these things? Sorry. My suggestion. Boss <laughs> kills me. <laughs> hey, what if you called him something that wasn't Boss Bug? Then? Like, My maybe, su- just kicks. Chex Mix. Uh, but anyway. Which one is easier to say? Chex Mix. Chex Mix or Boss Bug? Boss Bug. Come on. Like it is my suggestion that you, you take... That's why Give a offer, but I would still be wary of what he asks. He is certainly has, he is a diplomat, he has his own interest at heart. Maybe it is just gain from, from resolving this issue, perhaps there is something else to it. I, uh, I would certainly investigate the ship first before the drift rock, but that is up to you. How far away is the quarantine area? Uh, it will take you about two hours via the... the the shuttle they are outfitting for you to get there. It's pretty far. Okay. No drift. The, is there a communication on, on the well, our personal devices? Can we talk to you with our devices when we are on the ship? Uh, when, once you are, are, are outside of the Armada, which is the, sh- the, the collection of ships that orbit... Um, Don't patronize us. Absolute station, go ahead. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be outside <laughs> of boost. You yeah, will, you will be outside of booster range, so you would have to use a regular communications module, not your Star Trek chirpy chirpy. But on Star Trek, it works all the way down on the freaking planet. 
And I'm letting you get, get outside the Armada orbit. We're two hours. <laughs> Maybe we should just beam over. Anyway, moving on. This if you had a level... 14 or 15 Technomancer, maybe they could cre- create that portal for you. Is there yeah. artificial gravity in this unit? <laughs> Yo, there, they, you know, if we went back to counting, it um, be like yeah. we did. You have artificial gravity on that right. station. Oh, I thought it was spinning. I thought that was doing No, that's right. artificial gravity. Oh, interesting. It's spinning, but we're standing up. <laughs> yeah. We're flat earthers. Kind of there, uh. <laughs> oh, fair point. Yeah, I've seen the map of it. Oh, hey, Bob, can you get my... Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I see. I didn't see it down there. I thought maybe Henry ate it. Coming your way? Yeah. Yeah. Don't feed my dog a That's poker chip. Heart. Nice grab. Yeah. If it didn't go through the beam, I would have had it. The extra <laughs> flash of light going all off. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. I'm trading you for a few things. Uh, do you have any further suge- questions? I mean, this is your... It is not an official Starfinder mission. However... You are representing us. We hope you do us proud. Has anything like Does this that mean you're going to be watching? <laughs> My, based, based on the excitement around the Acreon for the past week or so, I expect that Gevelar Snor will take every opportunity to broadcast as much of this as he can. That past paints him week. in a good light. I think everyone will be watching. As a past week? We've only been here two days. No, it's been several. Well, it's been a good three or four days, days, and it, was, it happened before you got there. So much German. <laughs> Alsace Lorraine right now. <laughs> Will you just go back to your French? Will you just go back to That is a good reference. So, um, I, I expect that he'll be broadcasting much of your exploration and your uh, shenanigans to the entire station and to the packed worlds at large. No. I'm killing your VPN. I, I, I think we could be much better at this if we had maybe, maybe let's say, a mixture of some hundred credits in our pockets. Oh! I turn on all the time. What was that, Mikey? I said, I'm, I'm sure we probably would be even better at this if we had a few extra credits in our pocket. I have <laughs> provided all that I can. When you return, if you need medical treatment, and certainly a place to stay, you're always welcome at the Lower Spire Complex. You know what we should do? Mm. We should go back to the place that we bought the uh, armor and weapons, and see if they have patches. Diamonds. We could put those patches on our uh, space uniforms. We don't need no stinking patches. And maybe we can charge them a couple hundred credits. <laughs> is this like the meat markers thing on the back of Rocky's... Di- uh, yes. On the back it's of Rocky's... Car Jeez, driver's yes, we should do this. We can go to the, uh, the hotel, the really nice hotel. Yes. See if they want like a little sponsor. <laughs> I think you are under. We can talk to Diamond. We can retire off Yes. <laughs> we are looking for promotional uh, sponsors for this trip. Mm. We are going to visit Diamond and ask if she wants to give us patches for our armor so she can get advertising for the entire station. Diamond has no need to advertise. Oh, it is a good point. She is a celebrity. But what about the hotel? Even I have been to visit Diamond in my days of travel. Mm. What about the hotel? They don't need your low, low level. You just looking, said we would be broadcasting. You start finders looking to increase their ranks. We can advertise for star finders. This space right here mm. will only cost you 100 credits. 20 billion people watching this right now? Yes. Yes, and they will all know that you are members of the Star Finder Society. But you know what? I think it would really help them like absorb the fact if it was like right here on our chests so that they could always see it, you know, front and back, maybe? No. Anyway, is there anything else... Any more information that I can provide for you? I will probably think of more questions once I am dying on the spaceship. But thank you very much, Mr. Boss, Big Boss Man. This is... It, no, yeah. actually, it's the, them. Hmm. Thank you, them. Boss Bug. You're welcome. Yeah, they good You're welcome, Rathman. <laughs> He's good. When I want to insult him later, I'm going to call him a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> That'll annoy him. <laughs> hey, Trigger. Yeah. Can I have a word with you in private? Yeah, yeah, yeah goes. That's fine. We go find someplace private. Listen, we have a problem. If the uh, drone camera shows our faces to 20 billion people, <laughs> they may learn about our past. They might start looking us up. I do not want this drone. I think I am going to arrange for an accident. 
I think um, I, 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 I yeah yeah we 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 can we can make something bad happen to it. Okay. Like maybe it accidentally falls out into the void of space. I am telling you now, the drone has plot immunity. Can't shoot it. Can't shoot it. Got shields. Can't disengage no, but, the shields. But it doesn't stop it from falling out into space. What's the point of us? Why don't we just send a whole bunch of these? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> hey, wait. Can I get like twenty of those drones and just surround me myself? With you them could just you could just wear a hat. Then I, can't I was going to say, two one word, helmet. <laughs> two words, space helmet. Yeah. Throw on some Clark Kent glasses, you know, you're all set. Apparently, if you have you your glasses, you... you, you, you got, and, and, who and, knows? And, and stick your fur back. I have a disguise. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to try to disguise myself before we go. The video won't be that great. Okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, it is... We're going to introduce ourselves? Wait, wait, go, go, go. Hi, I'm Pepperos! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Put disguises on, Ghost. Yep, I think we're going to roll for disguise later. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody's got a hollow skin that helps disguise, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, you won't, it won't take much to disguise you from this. Okay. You, this, right. this. The effort is minimal for this. I mean, really, all your soap you look alike. You all look the same. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tweaker, can I kill him now? <laughs> <laughs> you all look the same. That is all true. Right. Anybody want to do anything else tonight? After dinner? No. This could be your last night out living. (laughs) We go to the bar and then we get free drinks at. Sure. Well, any bar we go to, we get free drinks at. (laughs) 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 He's already teaching my daughter all kinds of bad things. (laughs) You don't pay pay for a drink. Are you kidding me? Come on. With legs like these? (laughs) (laughs) Then I think we uh, get our drink on and uh, get some rest. All right. And in the morning, we go get ourselves the camera and get to... Gravelos Star is going to meet, meet you at night. Thought he'd be 94 with everything. All right. So uh, here's my disguise attempt. He's going to uh, dye his fur a different color. <coughs> he's going to wear an, uh, what looks like an eye patch. <laughs> or no, he's wearing glasses, so they don't impair his vision. Yeah, he's going to say you don't want to impair your vision. Disguise. What do I do with this guy? Do you, Sophie, wear glasses? They do. They do. Goggles. <laughs> goggles. Especially goggles. They like the goggles. What am I looking at? Tools. Oh, I don't have one of those. I know. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. How, much How much do those cost? You always come visit me. Uh, Are you not a female, Yusuke? <laughs> I'm not a female, but I, I think I am going to have to knock on the door of our fearless leader. In the morning. <laughs> La junta. Ah, yes. I am what sorry to wake you up. In French. Listen, uh, oui. you, do you know how to Are make me look French? good? <laughs> I, don't know. I want to look good. I need makeup. I want a different look. Can he's you give me a different not, look? Not it sounds like he's recovering from a breakup. I want to look different. I want to be different. Trigger and I, we want to look different. Is this something you can do? Yes, we are, we are going in front of many, many billions of people. We want to look good, different, movie star, you know. <laughs> yes, yet you say the good and different are not the same. No, for me they are the same. Because this is bad. <laughs> different is good. It can you do worse. something for yes, me? We can, I have a disguise kit. That's fine. All right, just roll the disguise. I disguise <laughs> so I can do a disguise help. This is like Queer Eye for the Straight Guy kind of scene right now. I get uh, 17 to help him. Yeah. All right. What's your, what's your disguise check? Uh, not as good as his. Plus seven? What is it? Disguise. Disguise. Mm. My disguise is one. These guys? I, oh, I 21. Zero. I rolled a 21. Plus two. Oh, plus two. 22. Well, you how does that work? You guys didn't even recognize him. Huh. You think he's diamond. Uh, he he thinks they're all the same. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Little one, come. Come, <laughs> Little ones. You must get going. Trigger, you need to roll a disguise check. I rolled a sixteen. You're both. You're both clearly uh, scotch. Three cubes. Three, four cubes. Now they will never know who I am. There is no possible way I have any identifying information about myself. It's perfect. 
said every superhero ever. Shut up, I will kill you. <laughs> See, no one can ever know it is me. <laughs> you have a very distinct accent, you know. What I accent? Which one's ghost? <laughs> what are you talking about? I have no accent. I mean, it's strange. You and the other little one are brothers, are you not? No. Why would you think we are brothers? We are Aren't not you all related? related? <laughs> I, thought, I thought your voices were hurt because of Like everyone the... in Alabama. Or was that was last episode. This episode is all done. What? I... What? What? Your throats are bothering you. They're better. It's, 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 oh, yeah, it's, a day, it's a couple days later. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, last, oh. last episode. My bad. That's right. But I, I, I would... I, I Everything's was... back to normal because it's a different day. It's a different day. <laughs> it's two days. All right. All so right. You, you head up to Docking Bay 94. We do. Grevelar snores, uh, awaiting you, slightly impatiently, but that's, you know, you know, when, when you live for thousands of years, what do you, what you, minutes really shouldn't matter, but they do. Yeah, it takes time to look this good, is all I'm going to say. <coughs> that's what Grevelar is saying. Yes, <laughs> so, he, uh, presents the, if you'll go to the, uh, the screen, Bob. Oh, apologies. I will reveal the ship. That uh-huh. is the hippocampus. Ooh, Ooh. looks fast. It is a small shuttle. We each have a stat sheet for it. Ooh, cool. Oh, I printed off the, the bigger, more readable. That is much easier to read. I do like being able to read things. So it's got 35 hit points, an armor class of 14, it's perfect maneuverability, and a speed of 6. It's got 20 points towards shields, 5 on every side, a light laser cannon, and a coil gun. Turret. Oh, turret. So it can fire in any direction. Yes. Oh, that's really Ooh. nice. 4d4 damage as well. Yes. What would that do to a person? That's more than 4d4 damage, isn't it? That's yeah, there, there are different scales. Interesting. Yeah. It's got no drift engine. It's got Mark III armor, Mark III defenses, a trinode computer. That means we could do three checks and get three bonuses. Yes, plus one on any three checks every round. We get a plus one to three different things. That is... Not everybody else knows the rules for uh, We looked it up. Adam and I spent yesterday, last week on it. Do you see me being shocked that, that, at this information? I already knew it. And it's so fast... I that I knew that. Yeah, uh, so like did I. You, if you're going to be piloting, it's, it's inherently got a plus three on piloting all the time. And it has a maneuverability of perfect. So you can, you can just spin in space, basically. That's awesome. And it's plus two on computers. So if you're managing... Science stations. That's oh, don't forget about that. You know, it just occurred to me: if you're in space and you can make like a right angle turn, nobody can hear you scream. Dime, that just means you're moving really slowly. That <laughs> <laughs> you can arrest your mom- your momentum in one direction, and that's a very and going how much you want to give up? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's nice. The the <clears throat> greeting starfinders. The Yo. shuttle is ready for it's been prepared for you. I've also brought your uh, robotic drone camera. It uh Mr. Roboto? Yes, Mr. Roboto. He does speak too. And he goes over and he takes a piece of tape off the speaker. <laughs> oh boy, I already know what this is gonna sound like. <laughs> This is Robo Cosell. Welcome to the welcome to the Ikria Expedition. <laughs> Somebody's seen Better Off Dead recently. <laughs> no, I haven't. But I, oh, here we have our five brave adventurers <laughs> coming to us to take us to another floor, another, another station to see what happened out there in space. I like this guy. Ghosts, Gravelars, <laughs> Could you perhaps do us a favor? Reapply the tape. I'm sorry. The tape only works once. Uh, Ghost, awesome. eyebrow, Ghost eyebrow is twitching and his hand is slowly drifting. Uh, uh, Nora, uh, are we able to contact you? I will. I, my, myself or one of my staff will be constantly monitoring the feed. Uh, it is a one-way feed, though, so we will not be able to re- to get back to you. But we will understand if you have troubles. Do you have a two-way communication that we can have call you if we have problems? Because I feel like if you see something in video that we miss, yes, I feel like there are going to be some kind of problems. You, you are certainly (laughs) welcome to contact us from the hippocampus's uh, communications array. Okay. So maybe we Skype a open from Mm. us to the hippocampus and the hippocampus to them. 
It would also be oh, good to have communications good. while we were on the Acreon as well. I that's it, it, it is possible, I assume, mm-hmm. with a good engineer or mechanic like Trigger to hook up Jeez. our personal comm units, relay it to the Acreon, uh, to our vessel, and then from the vessel back, right? No <laughs> bad. I, I just want to say, I want to apologize now. This is how much Scotch Jeff poured me. <laughs> <laughs> He said three hands. You said for more in, so when I fill it up that high, it's. <coughs> for if, sure. you, if you help with that, just give the rest to Jeff. For, fortunately, we're starting early, so Someone's I can. to work tomorrow. I can milk this early. Yes, he does. Mm-hmm. This is Mr. Robano introducing the cast of today's trip. We have the Vesk soldier Osmodius, the Ozzy man, outstanding masher of of skulls. Can I just dis- can I? <laughs> Can I disable this thing now? Roll no, for, I want to hear mine! Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Lashanta um, Envoy. She knows everybody and everything there is to know. She will talk the lips... The Lashanta with no pregunta. She will talk the lips right off of you. Okay. Over here, we have the Rat Pack. Going by the code names of Trigger and Ghost, but we don't know their true identities. Hmm? I like what? what you've done with your fur. And lastly, we have the <laughs> Lady Elise. Watch her magic tricks, because she'll make those monsters disappear. Trigger. Trigger. Yeah. Can I kill him now? <laughs> yeah, we have to talk about that. Can I kill everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have to. Told me to look like. I want to look like this guy. <laughs> oh, shit. that would be good. That would have been funny. Next time, we may we may have to kill him now. They didn't. He didn't use the the, the name the, the names you've stolen. No, no. So that that doesn't broadcast out to the world. Understood. that Your your names are you know. Okay, that's what I was thinking. That you fill the role of. Uh... Mm-hmm. All right. What is the sheep? Uh, the bad news is the compliment is uh, five four. So you stay. <laughs> <laughs> so the Yusoki share chair. Uh, <laughs> uh, top, not, not side by side. Yeah, top and bottom. Yeah. I am getting the money for this. I am coming with. I'm I feel like he has one and a half. Uh-huh. The trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> in the world is San Diego. Very well. Uh, uh, Grevelar Snore walks you over. He the good the, the shuttle opens. I wish you the best of luck. I look forward to following your progress and hopefully distributing a reward to yourselves and not your next of kin. I don't have any of those. I will be your next of kin, no problem. You just sign me up. Here are the papers, right here. You just sign. Me up. <laughs> and is who, who goes in the ship first? Me. As Ailis is about to step into the ship, the uh, Mr. Robot zooms by, spins around. And is like right in her face. Oh, hi, guys! Goes, <laughs> <laughs> shakes his head, and puts his little claw to his head. <laughs> Pulls his hoodie over his face. I, I think as close to. One of you is as close to Ozzy, one of you is close. That's little, right. A little too close back there. But uh, we, all, we enter the ship. Watch yourself. You may not like what you find back there. <laughs> you I have no intent of giving it a voice until now. <laughs> So this is our ship. Ooh, look, it's so shiny. <laughs> Guys, you gotta get in here. This place is so cool. How does uh, it look? It it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a shuttle. It's, it's, it's a it's, shuttle. It's not a ship. Yeah, it's, it's a shuttle. You can see it's got a... So it's uh, that same set. They just used it for like ever. <laughs> it's, it's a two chairs, the long back, you know, room for two people to lay down after they've been... It's shot, more like a runabout shuttle than a shuttle shuttle from Star Trek. There's no <coughs> more space inside. I just wanted to make fun of Star Trek. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, but I'm not making fun of you for once. So I feel like... Yeah, uh, I mean, you should, you should take that. We're on a ship now. You will not have to pilot. The ship has been set to autopilot. We are now you. on the ship. Uh, you guys get on. The door closes behind you. It uh, it starts to rumble. Did I get a? Uh, oh, I didn't have a. I didn't find a sound for the ship taking off. So wait, what are our? We should discuss this now. So now, now that your ship is is moving, um, it's a it's a pretty boring ride to start. You know, you, you you're you're clearing the. You get a great view of Absalon Station as you go out, and then you pass by the Armada. You see 
hundreds if not thousands of different ships, <laughs> makes, models, um, manufacturers, races, some, many you can identify, many you can't. It is just like an endless sea of ships that you pass by. And then you're past that and it's just you and a tiny speck that's the Akreon in the distance. Well, let's check this thing out. Who, who's on what stations? So you have the captain station. We need the captain. I think I will be the captain. I think that you will oh. never be the captain. I will kill you, and then I will be the captain. Who else is in favor of me being the captain? No one. Nobody. Oh. <laughs> if you kill us all, you'll have nobody to captain. Then I will that be is the actually a good point. <laughs> mm. I um, I, I, I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. I think I might be the pilot. Oh, uh, Trigger is an excellent pilot. He should be that pilot. He is excellent. Yeah. Gr- granted, it's, granted, it's autopilot right now, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm, I gonna, I'm just going to turn on the autopilot. I'm going to give that in case you want one. Uh, there is room for an infinite number of science officers, an infinite number of engineers, and two gunners. One for the uh, turret and one for the light laser cannon that faces forward. So remember that if this is, if there is combat... The person if. <laughs> manning the, the light laser cannon will only be able to shoot at the other ship if it's directly in front of you. Got that, pilot? How well, close are the two guns to each other? Like, can we have one guy that runs back and forth? No. No. <laughs> you, 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 it's you, it, yes. concentrate. <laughs> it, it, one in tr- and each round. You, <laughs> but each round, you can go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same council. Yeah, or same any council. other council, but you can only focus on yes. one of those. You have one job. Time. Is Ozzy long enough that he can get up? All right, so there's um, the the other roles, just so you recap. Uh, ob- obviously, Jeff, is, Jeff has been chosen as... Uh, Nala has been chosen as a captain. Nala. And uh, Trigger... No, uh, Ghost. No, Trigger. Who are you? Ghost. <laughs> You're See, ghost you all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to kill you. Trigger, Trigger is the pilot. Trigger is the ace pilot. That's ace pilot. He's going to be really good. So we have the remaining positions available. Science officer, there could be as many of those as you want. Engineer, there could be as many of those as you want. So we have the passenger. And gunner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gunner, there could be as many of those as you want as there are um, guns. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, do you guys want to decide those roles now? Well, I think Mikey is the pilot and the engineer. You can't be both. Bob does everything else. Oh, except for Captain. That's that's. Uh... No, I think Ozzy should be the gunner. I I agree. I think that's most natural based off of. Maybe the turret. Turret's the most important. Sure. Turret. The turret is the most important one because yeah. it can shoot in any direction. It has and the best does damage. more damage. Mm-hmm. And I don't really know why you'd use the other. So you can have two shots per round on something that's in front of you. Yes. Uh, science officer and engineer. Think. Does anybody have computers slash engineering? Yes. Yeah, I have both. You don't count. You already have a job. Uh, I am actually going to give all three of these to... I have a slash in both of those. To Elise yeah. and to <coughs> um, Ghost, because you can move between any of these three. So you yeah. can have all three of those. There's four. There's four on that, but... but no science officer has two sheets. Oh, here's science officer. Oh, it's... No. Hey, you, you each can't learn. Do they have gunner as well? Yeah. They each have a gunner as well. Okay. So they can fill in that role. You guys want to look at that for one minute? I'm going to use the sure. washroom and use my washroom. My, my if I remember oh, right. Oh, I like the little quotes on top. Alicia, I think my engineering is plus 12. Your engineering is plus 8. eight. Yep. Trigger would be the best, but he's piloting the ship. <laughs> so maybe I do. I am not best at anything. No, so. no. Never mind. Uh, computers, right? Science. You've got a plus 8 on your... Computers, right? Yes. That's so, a good engineer that's right there. Th- or science, no, that's science officer. Science right? That's science officer. So I think maybe Elise is well fit for a science officer. What's your computers then? My computers is nine, but my engineering is 12. So if we can't have Trigger yeah. as an engineer, I can step in as engineer. I mean, there's a Wait, big... Wait, engineer is engineering? Engineer is engineering. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> and computers is... Science, science. officer. Dead, dead. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm with you. It's okay. It's okay. Mechanical engineer. Oh, electrical engineer. You gotta think non. Yeah. Non. Uh, to go biological. Oh, engineer. Science that's officer. Yes. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta. Sci- like Spock was the science that's officer. Cool. I think that's it. Not so. All right. So we'll have you as science officer. Perfect. 
Amanda feels terrible. So you are saying you do not Samantha. want me as your Samantha. captain? No. Hey, how's Amanda? Fight. Then Nala oh. is the captain? Good though? I guess. Yes. Yeah, they've been doing. Um, Nebulizer, right? An inhaler every four hours. Six puffs every four hours. They have to reposition them all the time. Yeah, I everything. This is the little one? Yeah. She was scared. Like Gary came in there, because Amanda said she, you know, she seemed to be having a little trouble breathing. But then Gary took him for a bike ride just in the neighborhood, and he's like, she like can't breathe. He's like, she's her breathing was so labored that they panicked. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like the first time we heard the crew. And that's well, and that's and I said to Amanda when we went to visit her, she doesn't have a crew, and she said no, and no bronchitis, no pneumonia. But it was like she was all set. The doctor was ready to send her home, and she never naps anymore. And she fell asleep, and within seconds, her oxygen level went from 95 to 84. Wow, that's not good. That's some serious hypoxia. So, the doctor's like, I was so sad. She's like, Why did you fall asleep? Mm-hmm. You, but, could, you could be at 100 percent, 99 percent. You do a full-on <clears throat> sprint for 100 yards. You might drop down to ninety-seven yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, like they, yeah. There's, some, there's something else going on when you're. She was on round-the-clock oxygen, and then they took her off, and uh, she was doing all right. But then she'd go from ninety-four to eighty. Yeah. Eighty. Yeah, you're taking them out to low, right? I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, technically, anything lower than ninety-four, ninety-five is something you should start worrying about. Yeah. Even arguably in the books, you know, ninety. Oh. Five. You're kind of in the range of death. Yeah. Well, like they, she said that like they they kept so that's when they decided because she yeah you know, she's three she doesn't want the oxygen in her nose anymore oh, she had yeah. the stickers on her cheeks that were all starting to turn pink and everything and so mm-hmm. they said let's do the albuterol and it was four puffs four, six puffs every four hours mm-hmm. and even then she like she almost made it through the that second night yes yeah, and then 5 30 in the morning she I can't imagine how shaky she must have felt after yeah. that what, yeah. like oh yeah be sherry takes two sherry like an adult <coughs> takes two puffs it is like shaking for hours after that like yeah but nobody seems to be think that there's any correlation to the fact that she was a preemie and that amanda had to get the steroid injection to boost her lung development so that they could take her hmm. yeah but she's three years old at this point yeah but They'd be developed. They'd be developed by now. Well, so. no, I know it's not that. Yeah. It's that her her lungs weren't fully developed when she was born. Right. And they've run her through all the allergy tests to see if there's an environmental factor. I don't know. Maybe there's something in the house. Some kind of mold or. Uh... Uh, well, they they just found mold behind the wall of their shower. That's interesting. Uh, that was leaking down into their ba- their bathroom downstairs. So. Cats. Yeah. Any number of issues. <laughs> well, I hope she feels better soon. That's right. tough. I, uh, it was How's like Sophia? <coughs> she'd run around the, the hospital Sophia room struck. and then all of a sudden you see like, <coughs> the labored breathing. And I was just like, ah. How is she like giggling right now? <laughs> yeah, the dog. Nobody told her she's supposed to be miserable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah um, she, was, she was running around the room that was no bigger than these tables mm-hmm. and just totally happy as could be. Yeah. And then. Like, all of a sudden, she just crashed, and she was like, I'm going to go home. Yeah. And then we were like, yeah, I think we're going to go home. Yeah. yeah. All right. You taking him real quick? Um, so we have strap. Okay. Oh. Well, well at, you know, at least it's uh, diagnosed, and antibiotics well, yeah. should be fine. And That's just, it was, so is that what she's hours. starting? Because yeah. we were all together in this tiny little room. And that headache, stomach ache is definitely strong. a precursor to strap. Could be a precursor stroke. Okay, but I, I am. So you're telling me I should take some more one for me. let the body heal itself. Yeah, that was strep. That's the one that the. Uh, I guess the antibodies on the strep is similar to that of your heart muscle. Oh, great! So your body could develop a aller- a targeting of the heart muscle if you don't get the strep. Uh, Care of. But oh, naturally, wow. you have strep all over your body. So. So. So the ship is left at the. Uh, <laughs> and then when I see when I see athletes taking the it's like, dude. I know. Dude. 
too. Good night, Henry. I know. Good night, mother. <laughs> Good night. Take care. <laughs> well, we'll be back. We're going outside. Oh, all right. Oh. I'll so see you later, Henry. After about half an hour, you guys clear the the armada. No, I just want to say to make sure to check that the, the sheet isn't entirely correct all the time. Is it based on the old numbers? Well, it's uh, gunnery scale equals base attack bonus plus dex. I know for gunnery, at least, it could be or piloting plus dex. Mm. Right. So just make sure that everything lines up. Oh, fair point. Because that would have really sucked. I would have been down uh, a lot. So. Uh, I familiarize <coughs> myself with the engineering station. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. It's, it's like watching them, watching Ghost and Trigger is like watching the Mandalorian of Baby Yoda. <laughs> this, this, this entertains you guys for about five minutes as Trigger is piloting and Ghost is flipping the switch. <laughs> and trigger, trigger. I'm still talking to the drone. <laughs> <laughs> the drone is, is is collecting. The drone oh, and knows more of my life story than I do. It's collecting all of uh, Eileen's backstory <laughs> that hasn't been written yet. Nope. <laughs> as long as she does it away from me. We're filling the gaps. Yes. <laughs> and you were born where? <laughs> <laughs> what did your parents do? <laughs> you guys are actually pretty happy and pleased that she's keeping yeah, the drones. Very, <laughs> it occurred to me profile. that, uh, yeah, so is, uh, hmm. so is Ozzy. Ozzy puts his back to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming 360 degree uh, view and nope, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's, it is kind of funny. We, we joke that all the Yosoki look the same. I'm sure all the vests look the same. Mm-hmm. And the Shunda's a little different because they have a lot more color, I think. But what are you talking about? We have green. We have light green. We have dark green. You have they have mossy olive green. green. <laughs> what? Mossy green. Seafoam. <laughs> Hunter green. <laughs> Camo green. I don't know how you can say we all look alike. <laughs> They're Vesk Americans. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's on the sensors right now? Science officer. Well, she's busy talking to the... Uh, well, I can be doing stuff while I'm talking. I'm very good at multitasking. Uh, Nobody's be, actually going uh, to multitask. Uh, They're going to study to prove it. Alright, as soon as Amy's done... be good at multitasking? <coughs> 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 Get the acronym on, on the scope and uh, see if you can find anything. Mm. And the rock. Uh, you are you are not quite within uh, the sense of range of the uh, acronym or drift rock yet. The, the hippocampus isn't designed for a long range. Trigger, like trigger, I have a question. Take care of our puppy. And uh-huh. our puppy stay with me or with you. you now that the La Junta is the captain, do I have to do what she says? Yeah. Uncle, say anything to mommy. <laughs> Good night, Henry. Have to do what she says. What? What was that? Oh, oh, really? Au revoir. A bientôt. Okay. <laughs> Allons-y. C'est c'est bon. <laughs> Allons-y. Good night, Henry. I'll kill you later. Me too. <laughs> no, I most likely kill you in the in morning. The morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put the uh, curtain rod up here. Uh, I have a question about the drone. Sure. Um, now that we're all... At separate stations and stuff. And does the drone follow someone? It takes some space in the back, kind of what we're seeing the back of everybody's head. It will go where the action is. Mm. Okay. So a ghost leaves the bridge oh. and like tries to find like a smaller room in the back. Yeah. He's looking for the head. Oh, it's all no, one. No, because it's just asking yeah. for when I just to see if stuff. we divide a fuselage. Who does it follow? We'll do it later. What do you think of the ship, Trigger? I like this ship. It's fun. Flying break. It seems pretty maneuverable. I can't wait to uh, test it out and see what it can really do. Maybe maybe you fire a couple of shots, Nizarban. Just to see how it feels. Do you want me to shoot those across her nose or up it? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what is that? That is a uh, some sort of uh, recoil gun. Is that what I'm looking at there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> are you talking about the the coil gun turret or the forward facing light laser cannon? Oh, we've got two oh, guns on each. <laughs> I like that. Do you not see that? It's right. right here. How do you not know this already? I was busy in the engine. Are your switches labeled? <laughs> No, I have green and I have blue. <laughs> what does these do? Where, no, don't! No! <laughs> the ship shakes. 
I did oh. see. I did see. There's no uh, self destruct in this one. So <laughs> play, play yeah. along, it's, it's okay. If there was, it'd be out of order. <laughs> oh no, that, that's the cancellation button. <laughs> Is there artificial gravity on this ship? Yes. Can I set artificial gravity to like forty <laughs> percent? Boing. Boing. Ah, this is Boing. cool. Can I set okay. it to 140%? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot move. It, it looks, you keep drinking that, but it doesn't go down. <laughs> <laughs> I keep watering it down for him. <laughs> that reduces the overall alcohol content, right? No, it just spreads it out more. So, you guys have been, in, you guys have been in the ship for about an hour now. It's getting pretty dull. E- even, uh, even ghosts have run out of buttons to push to... To annoy Trigger. I've run out of things to say to the drone. Has he unscrewed the, the cap on the, the shifter knob? And put it in his mouth a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Proximity alert. Vessel approaching. That's straight out of Star Wars. Or uh, Star Trek. Yes. I, that was uh, Mitchell Barrett. <laughs> I push the intercom and I say, Menu battle stations. <laughs> Wait, so, you're the pilot. I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> sensors. All right, so. There you go, getting into panini. I like what it. What do you have to do? I sensors. Have to I will uh, use an engineering to give her a plus two to pee on her <laughs> on science officer action. All right, put it down, Uncle Jeff. She's Go. out. What? She's out. Is she? Okay. Good. So did she say I can't sleep? And then fell asleep while you were getting ready to go. I said, "Give me a minute, a half an hour ago." Okay, get check, get check, get check. So. Uh, <laughs> I could not find a good proximity alert other than that one. I liked it. I didn't look that hard. That was good. That was Star Trek. It was Star Trek. I said it was straight out of Star Trek. It wasn't asked. It was so. Uh, all right, we we can set up the battlefield quick while we wait for Jules to come back. Sure. Wait, there's a battlefield. Wait, what's this? Let's zoom out. Hexagon. Oh, I had to assume the proximity alert was to the. Um, Accurate. Yeah. No. No. The proximity alert is to the Ooh, vessel that's a approaching big him. Map too. Is it a bird of prey? <clears throat> so you are the yellow one in the center. Look how big this map is. Guys. That is huge. I need a. I need somebody to roll me three d six plus five. Mikey, why are we gonna have anybody roll but Mikey? <laughs> uh, we don't know if it's good. Or it bad. doesn't matter. It's the, it's the distance the other Mike's ship is from you. Dice, no. It's the, it's the distance uh, the other ship is from you. Fourteen. Fourteen. 15, 19. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I think he must roll the 1 on one of those. Because you know we got at least two 6s. Uh, 6, 4, 4. He said 3D6 plus 5, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're yeah. like 35 feet away. Six, Here, four, 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 those uh, are space yeah, feet. It's okay. Space. okay. <laughs> this is weird. I'm used to squares, not... Yeah, and the uh, hexes are even harder to line up. Hexy, hexy, hexy. hexy. Right, let's see if hey, I get a range here. Range. <coughs> I would take it 200 feet north. Above. All right. Uh, I got 15 hexes for you. That's going to have to do. We're just going to fight him. Not, my, not, my, not quite Mikey's 8, uh, 19, but... Two points. This is what they well, gave you to work with. Point. Oh, understood. <clears throat> he does you, my bomb. Do you know how they did the coordinates in Star Trek? It was it was two circles. Actually, I guess I can move it over so here. You, you could point your circle, and then well, it was how you point the ship. So you point it on this See, level, and then you point it on this level, and that's how you get all your eighteen close degrees enough. of rotation. Makes sense. All right. So like you so know, there like, in the bottom right, you were in the top zero left. By nine zero, <coughs> like, like that. All right. You know what we're actually missing is the so step. Is the step the steps for. Uh, space yeah. fight, space combat. That was that, that a little less, less uh, engineering. Teacher. No, it's not engineering. It's piloting the start, mm. and then it decides who goes something? first. Engineering zero. You missed nothing. Piloting that was one. my objective. Three sixteen. Mission accomplished. To the record. Three sixteen. Okay, actually, rounds of phases. Engineering starts. Wait, the engineers of all ships, if <laughs> present, each take an action to repair the starship <laughs> systems or give them a boost. These actions occur simultaneously, so they can be resolved in any order. So, who is the engineer? Is there an engineer right now? Yes. Ghost is, is the engineer. Is yeah. Ghost going to um, improve any system? Because you you can um, boost uh, weapons or anything like that, right? What about I, shields? I think boosting <laughs> sensors, so we can find out. First. I think that is a good idea. But you tell me, Captain. I mean, uh, 
I do what you say because Trigger tells me. I, I what can't to wait do. for Jeff to say, "Give me a targeting solution" in a bad French accent. Yeah, targeting solution. All sensors on that ship approaching <clears throat> us. I, I, I so I'm, get, I'm encouraging oh. him. Okay. Is that something you can do repeatedly? I think is there so. something? Some things you can only do so once per com- combat. This is a computer. This is a, uh, every. Uh, so this is a computer's check, I assume, that you're going to make? Or uh, this is an engineering check that engineering. you're going to make? Uh, so, but fif- I'm to, this 15. Is to give her a plus two boost. Give you a plus two boost. Give He's giving you a boost to give her a boost. Yeah, is uh, that worth <coughs> it? You might want to save your boost for her. <coughs> mm. I thought you were doing the engineering and she was doing the... He, he's doing the engineering to boost the sensors. So I'm giving oh, her a plus two sense. boost. Yeah, I would wait. Yeah. Right. Sorry. No worries. So that engineering check is a natural one, but with the plus 12 engineering, puts it at 13. The DC on that is 10 plus 1.5 times your ship's, your ship's tier. Ship tier is 1. So 11.5, I have beat the tier. So mm, a natural one to me is still a failure. If, if a 20, not on a skill check. Not on a skill check. I, I'm with you. I'm with you, but it says on an attack, yes. On a skill check... Is a natural one on a skill check an automatic failure? Isn't it always? That's what I thought. I, I, I thought a natural one was always a Well, I don't know. It is on a hit roll. I don't want a skill check. Why? Do we have enough bonuses to make it even with the yes. natural one? Oh, yes. Geez. The DC is, thir- is 12. He rolled a 30. He had 12 plus, plus 12. All right. While he works that out, um, Helm, each starship's pilot attempts a piloting check. Stop looking at the food at him. The pilot with the lowest result he must move his starship him. first. No. Followed by the next lows until our starships are moved. Check is repeated each round. You actually want to come in second here. You want to win the check and have the other person go first. So this is a piloting check. This is an opposed piloting check, Mikey. Uh, I have the answer on the Paizo threads. Uh, one does not auto fail, but also 20 on a skill check does not auto succeed. There can okay. be goes both ways. DCs that are way too high, even if you roll a 20, if you're not skilled enough, you won't get it. I appreciate but that. But com- if it was a combat <clears throat> hit roll, yes. then it would have automatically failed. You can't do a yes. culture roll on the ship that no one has ever seen before. Yeah. And so yeah. you can roll a 20 I, I, and know about... I guess it makes sense. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I, since the... It, 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 it's still ha- I still don't like it, but... There I has agree. to be consistency between the 1 and the 20. Yeah, okay. I agree. So, all right, so Mikey, we have opposed helm checks. Okay. So pi- piloting check, right? Yes. Okay. Don't forget you're getting a plus two on your center. <clears throat> oh. Has anyone sailed the ship really? to figure out what's going on? I feel like we're... Are we actually in combat? I'm a little confused. You're in combat. Do we get fired on? No, but a ship is pursuing you. It's like a rolling initiative almost. Shouldn't we, like, ask them what bonus? Wow, okay, is it... Wow, is this crappy? I'm realizing that I have the ship stats here. But now I have to go find the pilot stats in the back of the of, of the thing, uh. <clears throat> which I did not really look at. Skills, all right. Woo! Their piloting might be better than Trigger. Wow. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you're rolling. Not <laughs> natural. <laughs> natural one. <laughs> but we can still beat him. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, wow. Oh, oh, it actually includes it here. It does include it here. Piloting plus that. Um, I don't know why it says two ranks, but okay, yeah, so I had a 15. Okay, his, he's roll, got a plus uh, 14 piloting. Yeah. What, Mikey? I rolled a 25. <clears throat> so you get to go second. So I, I move, and I have... Um, but you want to go second in yes. ship combat. That's yes. a good thing. Yes. Okay, now move there. So, that ship has closed has closed the gap a great deal with you. It is much quicker than you. Whoa, we are 19 squares away, and now it looks like we are eight squares. So he traversed 11 squares. Well, how many squares can we move? Six. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at math, but that doesn't look good. No. Is All this right. ship the same size as us? Do we know yet? Well, I think we would have to scan it. This is weird. When does this... It goes engineering, helm, gunnery. But it doesn't actually talk about science or... 
Oh, why do they make this? Why can't you just spell it out? I need like five. I need the five freaking steps. We had a nice cheat sheet that we lost. Uh, I'll see if I can find one online real quick. Uh, science, af- a science officer acts during the helm phase of combat. All right, science officer, do you wish to scan? Yes. Give me your steer. I will give her my bonus on that. I rolled the. I rolled. Should I roll again? No, I can pass it off. Thirteen. Here we go. Here's a good. No, oh, I'm sorry. I rolled the <coughs> weapon. Is that what we found? No, that, that was not the one we used. Am I doing engineering or culture for her? Oh, are we engineering or computers for her? Um. Uh, the science officer is computers. Computers. 17. Well, uh, 17, so you get a plus two. Plus two. Okay, so now I roll to scan? Yes. With a plus, uh, yeah. with a plus four, <coughs> because you get a plus two from a so captain. Do we want to do we wanna use a, do we wanna use a, a ship modifier? Yes. Yeah, and so take one of the three ship modifiers that we get per round. And is this a computers? Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have to plus two. two. Oh, for the, the ship? Have? Oh, God. So the, you should have a plus two from the captain, a plus two from engineering, we're at four, a plus one because we're using one of our three for the round from our supercomputer, and then the computer itself is so good you get an additional plus two. This is on top of whatever you get with your bone bonuses. So how much is that, Adam? Seven. So you have a plus seven. What's your computer's bonus? Eight. <laughs> so plus 15. <laughs> this is good. Roll like well. This. Yeah, roll well. Four. <laughs> That's still a 19. That's still a 19. That's not bad. All right, so the DC... And you know what? It's better than most of his rolls hmm. last game. You got four times as much as his last roll. <laughs> the DC for the check is equal to 10 plus the tier of the starship. Uh, the tier is one half. 400%. <clears throat> so it's a, it, the check was 10. You roll a 19. Mm-hmm. For every five by which you exceed the check, oh. you learn another unknown piece of information. Oh. I'm going to give you two. Oh, that's nice. I will, I will, I will move it up. Um, basic information. It is a uh, Death's Hand Necro Glider, and I'm going to change the pi- to show you the picture. Sounds here. like it comes from EOSC. It sounds. It is an I don't EOSC know why you would think that. They're going to help <laughs> us in. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make the dead people. I said, can we hail them? Like, there's no communications. Uh, so that's what it looks like? I guess, well, actually, you can intimidate. Oh, it looks like it's made of bone. Check that that's out. Awesome. Yes, and you, but you do realize, uh, at least you realize that this also could be unrelated to EOSC, could be from the corpse fleet. Right. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, are we are we seriously saying the corpse <coughs> fleet and the Axian government are not together? Please. <laughs> that is the official stance. The pilot looks uh, like they uh, are in a coffin. Right. Is it, so it's is it's it a one seater? I... It is a one. Well, it is a tiny interceptor, which I believe seats one person. So Sweet. basic information: living crew complement and ship classification, size, speed, and maneuverability. So it is a death's head necro glider. It is a tiny interceptor. I'm going to say it seats one person. Uh, speed of 12, maneuverability of perfect zero, just like you guys. Well, it cannot maneuver us. It can just outrun us. Um, the defenses, it has a, an AC of 17. Uh, well, better than us. TL of 17 also. It's also better than us. Total and current hull points is 30. More than us, too. Oh, no. That's the that's less and less. shield points in each quadrant. Four. Uh, no, forward three, every, uh, port and starboard two, aft three. Want to hit another side. Wash shields are better. And then core PC value doesn't really matter. It's 70. And finally, weapons um, information about one weapon, including its firing arc and the damage it deals. So it has uh, a gyro laser forward. Do we know if there are other weapons that we don't know about, or just that that's all we know? That's all she knows, I think. That is all you, that is all you know, and I gave you extra. Should I gave you a plus one. have to roll again to try to get more information. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Do we know about mm-hmm. what a gyro laser does in terms of damage? Uh, it does 1d8. Yeah, but it's, it's forward arc. So if we can stay out of its forward arc... At least one of its weapons. Yeah. But our forward weapon was the weakest of our weapons. Right. But that's a one person. I'm ready. How many more of them are there? How close are they? Did she scan any other ships in during her scan? No. This is the one. You, you, she focused her scan on that ship. It's the only ship that shows up on your radar. Okay. Good job, Elise. All right. So after that... Uh, we have the gunnery phrase. That is the captain and the gunner. 
I already went. I, I, I captained. <laughs> I gave my bonus to... Could, is this where you do your communication? And open a channel? I think communication starts at the beginning with, with, the, captain, with the captain. It can be any... I guess it can be any time. But... Hail the approaching vessel. That'd be science, right? Engineering doesn't do that. Open it, does, it doesn't matter. Opens the channel. I'll lean over to the comm station and press the button. <laughs> vessel, we are on a diplomatic mission. <laughs> <laughs> From Alderaan? <laughs> Two. Two Alderaan, that's it. They're right back to Alderaan. Immediately change course. We get anything? You get nothing. So they, um, you both ships, you, we've moved. No, you haven't moved, have you? No, we've not. No. They moved. You haven't moved. So go ahead and mm-hmm. m- uh, I think I have to move you. Crap. Let me see if I can send you guys to, to play with this. Edit. What? You ready for midterms? Oh my physics! We had a physics test today, and he decided that we were really? going to cry on the entire magnetism unit. All right, I have to move you. Two weeks I think. before midterms. Yeah. Oh, oh no, all of a second. Controlled by all players. Save changes. From you should be able to move the ship, Mikey. That's going to go so well for us. So, Mikey, you have a move of six. It's going to okay. be a bitch for Mikey to hear. Wait, am I assuming I'm flying in, in the direction the ship is pointed? <laughs> so, the ship has to have two both ship, This is going to be hard for us. Because each ship has... Four arcs, front, uh, forward, yeah. aft, starboard, and port. Now, granted, right now everybody has a maneuverability of uh, perfect to a turn of zero. So I'm going to say, unless you guys really want to struggle with this, everything fo- everything's always going to be forward for tonight. We can turn the mean? ship though. So we, we could just mod- we could just say which direction we're turning. I don't I don't think that that's that much. Oh, harder, that's interesting. Know? Yeah. I, I just I just want to know can... like if I'm looking at the screen, am I is forward to the left or the right? Uh, it's where the blue the the blue is the front. The blue is forward. Where you see the blue. Uh... Why, why don't we just? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so the red is well, behind and the blue is forward. The, the idea here is that some of some. Uh, Things have forward guns. Mm-hmm. So if you roll a better uh, piloting check, you might be able to outmaneuver. So mm-hmm. those forward and guns are not right. pointed towards the ship. So, Only the turret would be if they had a. So I turned their it. ship. If you if you scroll down a little bit, you can see <laughs> the front of yeah, their I ship. You turn towards me now. Yes, is now toward you. Perfect. Oh, great. Because he's got perfect maneuverability too. Well. Okay, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a crazy move, uh, and it's right out of top yeah, gun. And I'm going to close the distance before you can arm your missiles. That's so <laughs> crazy, it just might work. All right, so you, you want... Tur- that's it. What was it? Ryan, don't turn that knob. It's into the path of the torpedo. <laughs> All right, so you're going straight at him. Yeah. So I've turned you. Your forward arc and their forward arcs are together. You have a, a move of six. Do you want, to move, you want me to move you or you want to move you? I can move it. I think you can. One, two, three... Trigger! Five. The face of maneuver! Shit. Stop yelling. My Give him a delta! Is trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Jules, quiet down. Mm-hmm. Have you Six? not noticed that it's obviously sure. genetic? That works. It, all right, so, so you two. it is uh, both forward Maybe. arcs. That's because he actually cares so, about So that's my move? That's your done. <laughs> that's it? All I can do is move? Yes. Any okay. one of your stunts. That's your job. You guys have Adam. Uh, Ozzy is the gunner, <coughs> and the ship has a... Um, I hope you guys know what to do, what I just did for you. <laughs> are, are we just going to blow this guy up? Do we? Can we... When do we open... Captain, do we open fire? When do we... The, you, the, the captain, captain tried to reach out, and there was no response. I'm going to reach out Look again. at the cat. So let's get the cat out of the Lola! dish. The this is so you asked good. About it. <laughs> is it that good? <laughs> I don't care. I'm not it is moving. That good they called my name. I am not moving. <laughs> well, she's a cat. <laughs> so. <coughs> she was on the side that there wasn't any um, chicken and stuff. So yeah, no, she's leaking the sauce. <laughs> Alright, so the, um, the gunnery face happens at the same time for everybody. Kitty. And 
Uh, I have a gunnery of plus six. Oh, so we're opening fire, huh? He's opening They are opening fire. All right. My 19 plus six is a 25 against oh, your 14. AC of 14. That is a hit. Forward shields. Mm-hmm. Our forward shields only have five hit points. And your forward shields now have three hit points. Oh, it didn't hurt us as bad as we thought. It's only a D8. Do you want to... Uh, are you keeping track Do of you that, have the post-it notes? I'll keep track. Yeah. Do the post-it notes? I know. To put on... That's uh, so what they say. They recommend to use post-it notes to... Until you guys turn all the time. But then we... I got it documented. We're okay. good. I put it in the chat window. You're... Oh, 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 wait. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, that's not that one. That's the wrong one. This one. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's kind of stupid. This better not be some, like, reality TV drama they created just to get views. Are, are you sure? Are you firing the turret? No, I'm going to use fire at will. Mm-hmm. What's that? Tell fire any two starship weapons, regardless of arc. Each attack is made at a minus four penalty. Oh. Uh, I could I could order Elise to... She, she'd have to be there at the start of the round. She can't, she can't do the same thing twice. She can't change. I thought we restarted the round. No, no it was the end of the round. same round. Now we're doing the gunnery part. Yeah, yeah we're gunnery, kind of gunnery gunnery the end. movement was at the... F- oh, okay. Yeah, it is. We screwed up. We're going back okay. and fixing it. <laughs> Pinky is the... Uh, is the uh, turret. Automatic the miss. Yep. <laughs> and the <laughs> black and red one is the laser cannon. Wait, before you roll, can we use one of those three computer things to give you a plus one? Ooh, on yes. Yeah. The yeah. trinode. Well, there's two left, right? And this is the end of the round. Plus one, any three one checks each. per round. Any three checks. So one plus one each. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so these are now at a plus 10. Uh, oh, 28 wow. and a 28. He rolled two natural 18s. Who's incredible. that man? I know, right? He's no man. A 20 and a 28. These he's, are mine. He's a rolling machine. So now you at minus four. Is that including the minus four? Oh, no. Sorry. I did not take in the minus four into account. So a Does it really make a difference? And yes. An AC of 17 is a miss. No, no. I rolled a natural 18 plus 10 is a 28. Okay. Minus four is a 24. Oh, so. what was the other one? Also, they're both, they're both 24. Oh, okay. Then they both heads. It's the same. Uh, All right. Well, I only have enough dice to roll. So uh, for the <laughs> laser can, light laser cannon, I rolled a four. Nice. All right. So the front shields go down, and they already take one health point damage. And the turret. Oh, this is the big one. Uh, four, eight, niner. Oh, that's big. Wow. Oh my gosh. So what's oh, the 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 these are mine. Every one of them is different. You are yeah, good with that. These are mine. You stay at the gunner. You are good. I know how to That's good I got him closer. Made it easier for me to hit it. <laughs> well done, little one. All right, so next round. Hey, we Whoa. make our helm check. It's not dead. It's not dead. Whoa. Whoa. You did how much damage you got? Nine. I need to keep track of that. But Nine. Ten total. Nine, Nine total. plus. I told you that's 30 whole 30. points. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. I said, I don't think we need to keep track of it. He'll let us know. All right, so okay, uh, opposed piloting checks, again. Mikey. Opposed piloting checks. Yes, I have 27. 28. 28. And he's got no front shields. 25. All right, so... so we want to stay in his firing arc. So I, I actually... You, you move, and then I get to respond. I move? You move, and then I respond, because I, I rolled higher. You can issue an order if you want to suggest mm-hmm. anything. I think we're trying to contact that was That's not my action, but that would be my after this. Four. Can you turn me can you turn me to face him? Sure. Are you doing like a flip and burn kind of thing? Lola? Yeah, so basically I hit the brakes and I he flew right past me. And then I'm right behind him now. That's awesome. What'd you do? Basically I slid in behind him. Alright, but he has he he can move twelve. So yeah, well, I mean, even with my move of six, it doesn't really matter how far I go. He's going to overtake six, me. Six, seven, eight, nine. But that's a flip and burn maneuver, right? Move forward, rotate facing mm-hmm. one hundred and eighty. He does. It, he doesn't need to do that because he has. We have, yeah, zero, zero, we have one hundred percent maneuverability. Yeah. Okay. He's got so he's so much faster than us that it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, hey, Mikey, there's can. one other move. Yeah. I, just, I just want to mention. You've got a, a I don't know what called a flyby. Can she do everything? Which lets you move through his hex on this turn. It does not provoke an attack from him if you succeed. And it gives Adam an extra attack as you fly by. All right. So 
What's the level of that? Uh, Fifteen. Plus well, I was I was going to request the flyby in a minute. So sixteen. Negative. Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. <laughs> so he, he he cruises by you. He, yep. he gets out of your front oh, firing yeah. arc, so you only have the turret to fire at him with. Some things have a level, level limit. Yes. Uh, and he opens fire with. Oh, what does this thing do? I have an EMP cannon, but it doesn't tell me what it does. <laughs> It, it, all it does is fray the uh, computers. It damages one of the four systems on the uh, ship. Audacious Gambit? Uh, flyby. Can you confirm that, Bob? Bob, EPM cannon. It's, EMP uh, cannon. EMP cannon on, on it. I should, uh, give me that book carefully. EM, heavy EMP Sorry, cannon? Oh, yeah. that's a... Uh, that's an actual weapon. So. Yes, it's on the it's on the front of the ship, but I, I don't know what to do with it. Wait, it's not listed as uh, the, like player weapons, like what I've got here in the equipment section. Right. right? Or is this it? Yeah, but what does it do? Is it the heavy cannon or the light cannon? It is a light EMP cannon. Okay, special. so then go up one. I'm getting there. It's going to give me the description in a second, I think. Hey, that looks familiar. It, it, it frays one of the four systems on the ship. I'm looking for the actual description. I think it would. That's it. Why would it not be? Uh, it's up. It's it's up at the top. No, I but see. But there's the, not anything. Yeah, I'm looking. Usually page three hundred four. Is it usually the descriptions? E M E M P. A weapon with uh, this special property emits a beam of electronic electromagnetic energy that does not deal damage to ships or fail. Plays havoc with the ship's electronic systems. On a hit, an EMP weapon scrambles one of the target starship systems determined randomly. Ah. So, I have one question though. Before you fire, is is this the round? Are we in gunnery phase round? What happened to science officer? You're right. Captain. It is up to it is. Uh, it's Helen, or it's engineering first. Right. See, see, I have one. I have one person in there. So I. I I, I, I can pilot and and shoot. Um, can you? I yes. thought you still had to follow combat. The way the way the way I the way that was described in the podcast I listened to, they were able to do both of those. I don't remember if they did more than that. All right, there's two people in there. Could they? You have yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it sounds like a fighter ship where you're flying and shooting at the same time. Okay. But I'm not I'm not taking a other other phase. I suppose you could give up one of those phases to do something else. That, that would be my inter- my science. my expectation. We'll call it autopilot, listening to my verbal commands from the moment. Okay. Fair enough. So, um, Ghost, I, Alici, and you could change to science station if you wanted, Ozzy. Have you got any orders, Captain? That would be fire away. I can use it. Uh, let's see. Can, can, we, can we heal? heal. Can we fix the shields? Can we bolster the them in any way? You can redistribute. Yes, I can do that. But only increase it by five yeah, percent. Yeah, I don't have computers. So you can read the too, Bob. <laughs> five, I, I literally can't use it. Five. Bob, you can also read the so, Yeah, that's oh, that's true. So, so is it worth whatever side is facing them? Increase the shields. To increase the shields. Yeah. It um, is your aft side. There, there are rules. I think when you're there are rules to redistributing. There are. Can we, just make sure we you can't others. you can't strengthen a shield without taking away from somewhere else, and they have to be roughly balanced. Yeah. You take five percent of your max PCU to redistribute. To no, don't read the. You know there are animals for this. Politically correct you. Great movie. You're better off redistributing. Love that movie. Yeah, I thought that's how I heard it. You're majoring. Five thousand year old dead, dead language. language. So Latin, Latin, best I can do. <laughs> all right, so we're going to reduce the shields on all the other sides by two. So everything is five right now. So we'll take it down three, three, three front, uh, rather back, left, and right. And port and starboard, please use the proper terminology. Port and starboard. I don't know what you're and talking aft. about unless you And do. then we'll add six to our forward shields. No. When you do redistribute, they have to stay in sync. They have to stay even. So if, so if there's any extra, it goes to the forward. If, if everything was five, so what he's doing? this one went down to two. No, he just tried to make the front six and to get everything to four. But everything is five right now. So how do I redistribute so that forward shields are The forward shields three. went down to three? You tell me. I, I, uh, yeah, forward shields are down to three. And everything else is five? Yeah, everything else is five. So we could redistribute down the four and put the... Rest in the four shields, yes. The four shields will be the ones that take the, the, the remainder. Got it. So why don't we redistribute, every, take everything down to three, and then add six to the four shields? You can't do it that way. It has to be even. It add two. 
Even with a remainder. If I remove two equally from left, right, and back, isn't that equally taken no. from No. Yes, but the right? remainder is greater than the number of sides, so we can't oh. do that. So it can't exceed what you Correct. Have. Right, so we could do six in the front, four, four, four. Uh, I don't think it can do that. Even that's off? I, I think, I, I don't remember. I think I think you can do that. Okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll that one right now. All right, then let's do that. <clears throat> and then we'll look this up again. Be- because, improve I mean, we only see one chip here. I mean, that's useful. But uh, <laughs> I would assume the other ship is close by. I think it is. Did it shield? It's uh, no ship bottom, that's close it's to your bottom right. right. <laughs> oh, it's to your bottom right? Okay. Yes, it, it flew around you. Oh, wow. And it's targeting oh, your aft. Oh, it's behind us right now. Yes, oh. it flew around you. It had this 12 maneuverability. You guys only had six. Right. Well, then, you know what? I don't think we have to worry too much about the shields because it's well, not firing at our weakest shields. Yeah, let's leave it then. Whereas we can fire at its weakest shields. Then, uh, in that case, uh, I think I'll just uh, make it so that any ones you roll on damage get turned into twos. Oh, on a 1d4. That's awesome. Uh, that's a 24. Yeah, I don't think I need to compute The computer, DC think. was 11, so... Does that mean the ones and twos become threes since you rolled so well? <laughs> <No. off? laughs> Hails that ship. There's still no response. Hi, ship. Hi. <laughs> That's Jules' we, job. That's my we are, we are a government-sanctioned ship from the uh, representing the uh, Starfighter Society, hired by the Yaxian government. You will stand down immediately. We'll have the whole Yaxian government after you and possibly the... Uh, Ghost fleet as well. Corpse fleet. Oh, Corpse fleet as well. <laughs> it, went, it went way far what I taught. It goes, oh. it goes into the German range. Actually, we are, I just want to say, Captain, we are the ghost fleet. Mm. I'm going to give you... Um, we are not naming ourselves after you. We are the ghost fleet. It sounds cool. I was trying to <laughs> talk them a little bit there. I'm sorry, more... Intimidate? Intimidate. Talk, yeah. Okay. I am narrating this entire encounter to the drone. Oh no! The drone, the drone, the drone is right at the window. It's spinning around. The it, drone is loving this. The drone is eating it up. This is the. This is our first starfighter combat. We have been outmaneuvered. It is spinning around. It is shooting at our aft right now. Oh, we are just. Um, oh, we just incru- increased the effectiveness of the gunner. I can't wait to see what this does. Somebody turn that thing off. Uh-huh. Can I keep it? Will Ozzy be the hero? (laughs) I'm sorry. Will Osmodius be the hero? Ozymandias. Ozymandias. Can I get an O? (laughs) Oh! Can I get a C? C! (laughs) It's kind of getting a little annoying. And she's contributing to it. (laughs) At least he don't encourage the robot. (laughs) That was before your time, but I think he's going to it. All right, uh, science officer, are you doing anything? Or are you going to jump to the other gunner position? <coughs> Do I get to intimidate? There's, there's no, no need. You, you can intimidate. If you succeed, I will take a minus two for all my rolls. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a minus two penalty for 1d4 rounds on all actions during gunnery phase. Go ahead. Target ship. Use one of the plus ones. Yeah. Now you're trying to intimidate the person, right? I'm, yes. So that's a... How is that? You know, I've tried to intimidate ships in the past. It never went well. Uh, that is that? taunt. Taunt. I can look it up. I'm tapped in uh, options. 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 You could make them really mad. DC equals 15 plus 2 times the enemy starship's tier. Oh. Really? I would have thought it would have been his, his, his exceptional taunting skill. All right, go ahead. I intimidate at a plus 8. Plus, I'll take plus 1. 25. Oof. Every time I roll a new die, oh, I it rolls a 1. <laughs> no, so, I showed you the one. I, it was it was on the thing. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's his. I think it's twenty five it, it versus the fifteen plus the. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Roll that one. I don't think it's. I don't think you roll you at all. There? I'm all right. I'll make it. It says here. Uh, I would think I would be opposed for that, but regardless, if you're successful, every enemy well, character goes both ways. Acting during the selected phase takes a minus two penalty to all checks for one d four rounds. So you have to roll how many rounds you last? I'm gonna roll one d four rounds. Yeah. Roll some of the crappy ones out. Oh, okay. Ready. I rolled three ones out of ten die. You ready for the one d four rounds? Yeah. Two, two. That's good. And then now we got to remember that. Two so minus two. I don't get quite get this. Uh, it says the penalty increases to minus four if the enemy's check is made as part of a push action. <sighs> oh, push actions. We had that at one point. We spent. This we, is the one thing that screws up so bad. We we spent 
40 minutes of our 60 minute lunch trying to figure out push actions. Mm -hmm. A push action occurs when there's no damage to your vessel. When no system is malfunctioning. None of your systems are malfunctioning. Yeah. So it is actually plus four. I get a 28 because I can use bluff, it says. And last but not least, this you'll be happy about. Once you use this against an enemy starship, regardless of the outcome, taunt cannot be used mm. against that starship again during the same combat. So that's a one time only. Yep. All right. So it's minus four for two rounds. Well done, Captain. Um, do you want me to go next, Gunner? Or am I, uh, well, these happen well, simultaneously, it's, it's, right? Did you call yet? Do you have science no. things to do? A scan yes. the ship? Yeah, scan it again. See if you can get more information. I can do other stuff. Oh, do whatever. Well, you what other stuff can you do? Or whatever the captain tells um, you. She can target a specific yes, system. Yes, I can pick a system to target. Um, the next successful attack, attack to hit the target ship deals critical damage to that system. Oh, critical damage is on quarters? Every 25% or 20%? Don't. I forget. Don't target. It's okay. Because uh, I might have critically damaged you last time. Uh, life support. Life support. <laughs> you for damage total to the ship. You did. You did. I think. Hold on a second. Yes, because my CT is six. <clears throat> so hold on a second. Um, We've got to rewind time a little bit. Here. <laughs> Ozzy shot critically damaged the system on my ship. You have to roll a D four. I roll it. I, I will let you roll it to choose. What do I want to roll, guys? Three. Pick, pick a number. Three. One. Oh, it's a one. All right. So on a roll of a one, you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a D one hundred roll. Okay. That's 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 good. What if he still rolls a one? Sixteen. There is a one there. Uh, that is a sensors condition applies to all science officer stations. Mm. This is crap he's not using, of course. Yes. But well, we don't know that. Mm-hmm. Correct. All right. So that was last. Now it is your turn. So the sensors are glitching on that. Ship. Yes. Okay, so well, I can't. I don't know that, means... that or not. Um, it's a little meta. It means I cannot that. target that. That's where you um, hit. That's true. But I can also do a lock on, which grants uh, the gunners a plus two bonus to gunnery checks on the target ship that for the rest good. of the round. Since you're, we did, gave you a bonus to damage, why don't we give you yeah. a bonus to accuracy? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Remember, you're, you're only going to get the turret, though. You can yes. only do that if you have six ranks in computers. Do you have at no. least a yeah, I have, six? I have a no, you, you can't have six ranks in computers. You're only level two. Oh, ranks? Oh, no, I have one. <laughs> But you, if you get plus three basic, like, racial, is that part of your That's rank? not a rank. That's a rank. Rank is, okay. how, rank many is how many points. points so you have to be six level to get six. Minimum of six level. Yeah. Just a tar target life support or target target weapons or target propulsion. I'm target life support. This guy's already dead. <laughs> She's got a point there. <laughs> you think this guy's dead. You think it's in the axiom. I'm going to target weapons. All right. Because oh. I feel like that's a good thing to target. Jeff, that's good Jeff, idea. say it. He's not listening. Target the weapons. <laughs> Make it so. Options. In your in your now uh, advice to target weapon system. You should try to target the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I rolled a ten, and then the eight in computer, so eighteen. That is a success because the same DC ten plus half the TR. I assume it's the same for all of them. It does change, but um, target is five. Plus the enemy DCM plus the enemy ship's tier. Plus one half. What's the enemy DCM? Oh, DCM. I don't think I have anything that can make it not hit. Yeah. So I will I will yeah. let you, I will let it stand we'll figure out DCM afterwards. <laughs> okay. Alright, the So are we shooting at each other yet? Yes, I am gonna to choose to use my EMP cannon. We didn't know it had an EMP cannon. Brace yourselves for impact! Well, I'm going to use the uh, the turret because that's all I've got. What am I rolling out of plus? Uh, plus I hear a niner in there. You you did not get a bonus from her, right? No, no she didn't. Yeah, she just. And I'm giving you damage bonus if if you. Okay, want. so just we haven't used all our pluses yet, so I can use a plus one. Yes. All right, yeah. So plus ten. And the captain, can he inspire you right now? No, I can't. I've already used my uh, okay. twenty. Well, you might take an extra one Ooh. from the try no. He did. Okay. I already did. Twenty five is a hit. 25, and I'm, hit, I'm assuming I'm hitting it in the forward area because... You are. That's what's facing us. Yeah. So there's no shields that we know of. It hasn't... Oh, he could have uh, readjusted his shields. Potentially. I need, to, I need to understand more combat. 
So this is the this is the coil gun, 4d4. Do you want to redistribute? Because you can do that before he fires. No, sorry. Three, five. This one becomes a two. Yeah. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. And 69. Uh, your engines are glitching for the next three rounds. Okay. And you, I think we hit you, if we drew, if we put How much did you do again? Um... Right, I'm going to physically make this a 2. It was 21 hull points oh, minus 11 and is now down to 10. 11. You did 11 damage? So I think Correct. what this does is, did we damage your weapons and something on the 1d20 chart? Hold on a second. So my CT is 6. So you crossed it once last turn and twice this turn. Plus we had the targeting of the weapons. Yes. So the weapons are hit and I think you guys deal another one. Just one? Just one? Um, I don't know. We can say one. Wow. This is like a whole other game. It is. Yeah, it is. It's going to take a little getting used to. 44. 44. I just lost the page I was on. If you hit something twice, it destroys it, right? No, it goes... Or not destroys 44 it. 44 is weapons array. Randomly damage one arc <coughs> rate containing weapons. Double weapons! Because you were targeting weapons. Do we hit well. the same one twice, or one of them, each one once? As far as we know, it only has two. Okay. So, more than two. so a glitching system takes a minus two penalty. So minus two to piloting, Mike. Okay. Poor Mikey. To their piloting, not <laughs> to ours. our piloting. No, to our piloting. To Oh, our system is glitching. Yeah, the EPM. He, 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 he EMPs. Oh, okay. I got you. And he hit our, our uh, thrusters. Okay. Something in piloting. So there's glitching, malfunctioning, and wrecked. Three levels of damage. Okay. Yeah, okay. So malfunctioning system takes a minus four penalty. And, and it says, if a power core is malfunctioning, all actions aboard the starship not involving the power core take a minus two penalty. But that's only the power core. Yeah. Okay. okay, but otherwise it's a minus four. Okay. So I if think it's you, the power cord. I am plugging and plug it back in. <laughs> so, so the first time you did science. Yep. Yes, and you got two science more. Is a minus two. Uh, and then you hit weapons because of, of Ielisi. Yep. yep. And then we just rolled and hit weapons array. <coughs> What'd you roll? Forty something. Forty four. All right. So weapons are now malfunctioning. So weapons are a unit. You don't target an individual weapon. Uh, actually, roll one d two. Okay. He doesn't have a d two. I. Uh, two. Okay, so that is the, the gyro. The EMP, I mean. Oh, good. Question is, do we hit it once or do we hit it twice? And then you get one more roll. One more D100 roll? Yes. Okay. 69. Which is engines. Oh, that's what we want. Engines. He's, he's got the speed advantage on us. Well, it's, yeah. he's rolling at a minus two. Yeah. So, it doesn't actually necessarily make it. He could be a really good pilot. Uh, I hope we get a good scan of this so we can send the uh, Master to engine hell. signature back to the... Uh, what a firing solution Ilesi has provided for the, 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 the soldier man. He's talking about me. Weapons, engines, everything, offline. I don't know how that pilot is holding that ship together. Mikey, piloting check roll. Very good. Take us in. Finish him. 11. We were playing Mortal Kombat now. 25. <laughs> That's a good roll. No. <coughs> is that at a minus two? 27. Yeah, it was four. Oh, this is just a check. It doesn't matter. You're up. You got you. I move first. I should stay. Um, I was turning. I was facing this way. I guess I can just spin around. He just takes off. I was going to say, he's going to bug out, isn't he? Yes. He, he's, out, he's out of control. He bugs out. What's the range on her? Bye-bye. Well, on Weapons. our guns? Yeah. Oh, uh, short, I believe. Short's not, not terrible. Uh, you have a coil gun? A laser yeah. cannon. Yeah. Coil gun. Oh, it's range long. Remember, Adam, we looked this up the other day? Oh, yeah. It's just dumb. Was, I we can still these attack it. Yes. A little bit. 
Yeah, I mean, we, we, we can continue down this road or just... Gun is one more or just let it go. Wait, are we going to gain anything by destroying it? No. Yeah, so. yeah, we are. Experience. We can look for... You get for experience. You get experience for defeating them. We can oh, look yeah. for, like, loot. <laughs> Those are shits and giggles. Story awarded. The PCs defeat award them 600 XP for the encounter. You defeat it. You don't have to destroy. You defeat. I want to kill it. But oh, it's not 600 an XP copy. each, yeah. right? No, it it's is not. 120 total. each? Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. We're just... Evidence. It's one of the I, I talk into the camera. We were attacked by this ship, and I, uh, we will send all the no, he schematics. Come on, if you're going to do it, do it. Oh, he doesn't read or watch, does he? What? This is Jim Holden. <laughs> uh, he is actually he's halfway through. Oh. I'm on episode five. He so just got back to... So you should have seen, this is James Holden. That's James uh, Holden. <laughs> well, we were right. <laughs> all right. This ship attacked us. Uh, it, it is on this course. Going back to the armada. Going going back, it, it did it did come out of the armada, or the mess that we send uh, ships to intercept. Intercept. Uh, Ghost opens up a Jeffrey's tube hatch. He's got a wrench that he's got in his tail, and he's got some other uh, sort of sonic torch in his left paw, and he is trying to torch, not a screwdriver. Because that would make it really easy to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> and he tries to fix the malfunction, and he rolls a natural 20 in his engineering. Yep, yeah, yeah, look. Does. <laughs> ah, this ship is better than it was before. I do what I can, Captain. I was going to say, now, the, 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 the Jeffrey's tube, did it say GNDN on it? <laughs> <laughs> Goes nowhere, does nothing. GNDN. <laughs> there were, in, in the original Star Trek, there were actually tubes labeled that. I didn't really need all that information. <laughs> I will say so well, most of the information you give me is mm-hmm. not necessary. Yeah, someone just pulled into your driveway. Yeah. Are they turning around? No, Maybe. they're flashing your lights. They're still there. They hear the Now they shut it down. Yeah. Joel? Could be Joel. Making a hello. Is it a Joel? They, they're coming out. That was a door closing. Yeah, I heard a door close. I can't see the lights enough. on. There's no more light out there to see it. We can take them. Whoever it is, I'll tell you what, you go low, I go high. And we'll send the two big guys in first. We'll be back up. <laughs> I'll hide under the table. Jules, answer the door. <laughs> hey, get him. I like those are two. <laughs> Save him. It's a mighty Jules. Henry, calm down. Well, actually, he actually got here at the right time. It's perfect. Because it's perfect. we just finished the combat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you need table space? No. Okay. Good to see you, man. Happy New Year. Check out a bit, though. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Please. Uh-huh. Don't 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 right. There are brownie bites mm. as well as. There's a little bit of chicken and stuffing left yeah. if you're hungry. Stop talking no. about the brownie bites because I've already had a way too many. I <laughs> don't need to keep being reminded. <laughs> you're you're right you're probably sure. starting without it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to for a couple more. Jeff's comes with the extension form already in it. This will give you a break for when Andrea is. Jeff's comes with the extension form. Great point. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, we got them all, Joel. He's coming. Don't let me interrupt. Let me. We we, we just check out for a while. we just finished our first star, starship combat. It was not bad. Did you win? Yeah, we kicked its ass actually. Adam uh, rolled. Adam armor. went for a gutsy maneuver and he shot two weapons at the same time. He rolled two dice at eighteen. Bob, you he can scroll up and see the pictures here if you want. Okay. I just put Mike is the pilot. Page. He got us in a good position to do the firing. Uh, Bob is is functioning as the engineer. He's yeah. our Jory Scotty. Uh, Jeff is our Picard. Okay. No, come on, Jeff is yeah, Jeff. Um, <laughs> you don't fight, you just Jules is Spock. It's just the exact opposite. opposite. Jules is Spock. No, he's he's Tevin. He's Kirk. He's Kirk. He's not Picard. <laughs> yeah, Jules is Spock. Science and officer. I'm, Who is Voyager? Or, I don't even know who fires. Tuvok. No, or Janeway. Fuel? Janeway. <laughs> so except, maybe this is your year. Maybe. Except instead of looking like uh, Spock and Picard, mm-hmm. they both look like incredibly attractive females with big black. Almost. We uh, make seven of nine just look okay. Yeah, yeah. and they've got antenna coming out of their foreheads. Very attractive. Kind of Andorian. Yeah, yeah, is Andorian. Mike there? Yeah. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mike. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, bud. How you doing? Okay. All right. So with the uh, the uh, necro glider defeated and limping off into space. Is there any debris? Any clues that we can collect as to the? There isn't much. It made you know you you, you damaged it. It. it it took a beating and took off. We have their drift signature that we can send. To it's a fight. It's a tiny fighter craft. It's hidden it's somewhere in there. I want so. anything but the. Okay. Turn, turning your attention like back to your destination. Captain, 
Do you think it is still wise to get there? If we are being ambushed, could there be another ambush on the on the shuttle? Uh, it is possible, but uh, Let me we tell are you half, over halfway there. I think everything is an ambush. That is why I'm still alive. Mm. Engines. Uh, the Kree have to 100%? We have to go to yes, the sir. ship because I want Our to engines are functioning at 100%. Uh, that's fantastic. Let's keep going. I want to get to the All ship. Right. See the big rocks. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, we know how to run a spaceship. <laughs> this is great. The, as you as the, as to shoot. <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. Does anybody know how to get the minesweeper to turn on? <laughs> I want to play the game on my station. Oh, I have Galaga on mine. You got Galaga. <laughs> you lizard man. Give me the Galaga. I want a copy. <laughs> We don't get that far sometimes. Um, as you guys, your, your remaining hour slowly fades. You get about uh, 30 minutes away, and you can see the Acreon floats alone in space, far from Absalon <coughs> Station. Its only companion, the mishap and asteroid called the Drift Rock, which is tethered behind the ship on long tow cables. You got a picture you, of that thing? Can I scan? I do not have a good picture of that. Uh, okay. um, you, yeah, it, it is, you are now close enough to scan. I will look like to scan. All right, that is a DC-15 computer check. Can you give her a bonus to scanning there? Uh, I will give her a bonus to scanning computers. And you might as well take the bonus from the ship. Life. 16. Can I divert power to give her bonuses as well? That's one of the engineering traits. I don't know if that counts. What did you get to? Uh, I, uh, I rolled a to. nat 15 and I forgot what... It's okay. You only need a DC 15 check. <laughs> um, you can identify the ship as a medium transport. You can carry a full crew complement of six. Sorry, Bob. The picture shows nine bunks in it, but... Uh, <laughs> You can't get any. Sure there's room enough for. I say they have three baskets. Though they take turns. Like a summary. The sensors are unable to get a good reading on any life forms that may be present on the ship. However, you can detect that the aft airlock is open. As I already, already said, there's a rear airlock and then a starboard and a port one. Now, if I actually did this right in roll twenty. Um, You're going to explain to us after. Can you... Board. Actually, i got to change, change page to roll 20. Bobby, I want you to zoom out. <laughs> All right. So you can see poorly, but... No, and the point was that you don't be able to see a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me... What do we see a little bit of? It's dark. You see the thrusters on yes. the left-hand side, and then like a hint of the wing on the north. I'm going to reveal... Um, sort of the shape of the ship. So there's... At the back, I just revealed so one, the open airlock. Ah. Uh, here is the... Starboard airlock and the port airlock, and I'm th I'm working really hard to get those right. <laughs> and this one is open. Yes. We could just be landlubbers and call them left and right. This is okay very disappointing, Captain. I have something to report from engineering. If the aft airlock is open, sir, then there is no air, so there is nobody to kill. Because they are already dead. Sorry, Kevin. What if they are the uh, Yoxians? <gasps> oh, that'd be oh, so cool. There is a... There is, um, mm, okay, maybe there's one person we can kill. Additionally, there is minimal... Jules? There's minimal energy output, enough for life support. If it wasn't... If, it, uh, if there was air. <laughs> gravity and basic ship functions. So you do have gravity on the ship. Oh, good. Okay, but no, uh, but no air. Correct. Well, do we don't know. Spaceship, they they do could our... have a bulkhead sealed off internally. That's true. Uh, Do our spacesuits have air? Yes, <laughs> your armor. Your armor will provide air equal to the number of days of the level of your armor. So you I have two days. I have two oh, days. You've got a level two armor as well. Mm -hmm. The rest of us are just one day. No, I have two days. We can. I was skin? What was that give us? Did that give me? Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's a one day. It's just a disguise. Your second skin no, is one day. I make it look good. Your second skin is one day. Yes. Can we swing by and go around the the rock as well? You think we can? Oh, take good a look? idea. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the rock. All right, so you take the the long way around the rock. The, you said there are tow cables connecting the 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 aft of the ship to the rock. Um, by the way, you can try to dock with the aft um, airlock, or you have to spacewalk to the other two. You can see here's part of a wing, so you have to spacewalk there a little bit to get there. So we either try to dock between two engines or under a wing. Got it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are safeties that would prevent the engines from firing if somebody were airlocked. There. I hope so. Or we could go straight to the drift rock. I think, were we, well, we, I think we should check the rock well, out. Do we have instructions to the do ship. the ship first? Both Chiskis and um, Nor suggested you do the ship first. Yeah, makes sense. So, uh, you 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 make the 
transversal around the 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 drift rock. It is. It does have some weird spots that do not look natural. Too smooth. We're looking for radiation signatures. We're looking. The for rock scans as a, as a dead piece of rock, but you don't get any scan from inside it. There's no way to penetrate what's inside. Do we see any like openings? Miner- mineralogy. Uh, there, there does ultimately on your way your way around. Um, Atomic analyzers. About <laughs> about a half mile walk Reflecting from like one of the tow cables is a what, what would appears to be a cave entrance. So you, oh. you you could traverse the tow cable down to the rock easily enough. So if we were parked at the ship, we could go hand yes. over hand and make our way yes. to an entrance. How do you do it? I might I might even say I might even say there's like you might find some cool equipment in there that goes. Wait, how does that one go? No. Like, no. Like, okay. I might even say in the crew quarters you might find some equipment that goes that is really good at sucking up crumbs. It's no, yeah. is that these are minors, sphere? dude. These are minors. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like that. One. That's really good. I grabbed the drum. Hey, packed world, it's Lacey. <laughs> Can we maneuver? Like, and, oh, Mr. Roboto camera set. It comes back online. We have made it to the rock. I was gonna say that. <laughs> if you smell, welcome. welcome. <laughs> so the rock. Compared to the size well, of oh, the yeah. Acreon, how big is this drift rock? Uh, the rock is the rock is bigger. It's bigger. Yes. Like considerably bigger. Like uh, you can go inside of it and fit. It looks. It looks like there's a cave in- entrance. Um, it is considerably larger. Yes. Like the size of your house, large. Like, are we talking? Uh, I would say the ship is the size of my house, large. Oh, so even bigger than that. Okay. Yes. So is it like Bartlett's house, or is it like <laughs> <laughs> like circle? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And if we maneuver the ship in front, can we maneuver the ship in front of that cave entrance and like shine our, turn our brights on and then see what's in No, you can't. The, the way the angles of everything work out, you would never get the ship close enough. Okay. Uh, it's blocked by the cave. Line. Are there windows mm-hmm. on the ship? Can we slowly do a flight? The Acreon? On the Acreon, yeah. Uh, there are, there are some. forward. Like uh, you, 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 the bridge looks unoccupied. As you go, ghostily unoccupied, you can see... You know, it's dark in there. The lights go by. Trigger, honk the horn. <laughs> wait, wait. He just did it. You didn't hear oh, okay. it? But the re- the, the <laughs> do it friendly. Do it very good light. Like, beep, the, beep. The, the rest of the openings are all like porthole size. You really can't see anything. So we're not able to... But we can't zoom on the scanner like to that porthole size and look inside. It's dark inside, so it's hard to... And we can't shine a light. Uh, you're, push, you're pushing out there. With the bridge, you can. The, the bridge, you, you, you go through the bridge... Your light early works in there, but you can see there's just doesn't look like there's anything going on in there. You don't see any. Everybody, give me a perception check. Sixteen. Sixteen as well. Uh, I rolled a nat one. Four. Oh, perception plus. What did you look at? Sixteen. What if we're doing perception? Yeah. I have two. I at least he took the robot, took Mr. Nice Roboto job. robot, and held him to the screen. Killed look you. outside. Um, <laughs> my one, my one, I rolled a four. Well, Mikey. Please. I said I'm too busy flying the ship. I was just thinking, I was like, I was just thinking, was it this die has been rolling really well for me so far tonight? I just. So you guys, you guys go past the bridge. The bridge is the front here on the right. Um, you're able to shine a light inside. Let me see, let me see if I can reveal something here without giving anything away. Yeah, I can reveal a little bit. Oh, you, you did roll a 16. <laughs> Ooh, cool. So right. you can see, uh, I'll even nice. go. I'll go a little bit further here. <laughs> those heads. Those are, those are chairs. There's still lights on. Those are some of the sta- you can see some of the stations. Makes more sense. Um, there's there's a there's a dim glow inside, but sure the lights from your ship are just shining in there because it's all you know, transparent aluminum. Hmm. You can see like inside. <laughs> Compute that. Somebody has to uh, detect it. Dialysis. Hmm. Uh, I am wondering, Captain, do you want to try to hail the ship? <laughs> Somebody has to invent it. Come on. That's it. That was deep. <laughs> Uh, let's just go to the uh, aft and uh, see if we can hook up to the aft air shaft air lock. Lock. Okay. Good spacing. You guys okay with going? Everybody else? Everybody okay with going to the aft? Um, sure. Beat space walking. Like, if we go to the aft and we connect, and we go on the ship, uh, is there? Can somebody get into our ship? I would steal a ship. If I was on the ship, I would steal. Don't forget the the, the area is under quarantine. People are there are supposed to be forces. I think um, he's worried about people coming out of the ship, jumping so into our ship. Sure. You can close the yeah, airlock. You, you can close your airlock. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll 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 technically, the Jeff's out. the captain, but it's really I more for the mechanics of combat. But 
Yeah, we're kind of all working together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're a ragtag group right now. We just met like three days ago. Mm-hmm. Actually, actually, it's been about a week now. You know, That's it's right. still better than Dresden, where we ran around the same day for <laughs> <laughs> a <long>. year. <laughs> much, to yeah, our own, much to our own fault. Yeah. So, all right, so you, you successfully dock at the airlock. Uh, definitely not a Klingon ship. <laughs> No, it's not a vertical. All, all the automatic systems kick I didn't on. Ask if we got attacked by one. Oh, there was no sign of weapon damage on the outside of that ship, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, flickering emergency lights do little to dispel the darkness inside the derelict ship. This is as you're standing at the airlock. Uh, and the sense of abandonment is only heightened by the apparent lack of any movement of life inside its airless corridors. <clears throat> Artificial gravity is functional, however, so there's likely still power to run essential systems and possibly restore life support and atmosphere to the ship. Unfortunately, there are still no obvious clues as to the fate of the Acreon's vanished crew. Yeah, it wouldn't be that easy. I wonder, you know, I'm going to go check the bathrooms. Maybe they're all just in the bathroom. Hmm. Maybe they're having some real bad diarrhea. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, you guys are leaving the... Leaving your shipping and entering? Yes. Uh, Yeah. Something tells me we should stick together. Could be the tactical combat map. (laughs) (laughs) All right, um... I think we let's 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 order. Let's get this settled now, because I don't think we've necessarily settled it. And a two by two. What is your standard marching order? I think we've got to have you at the. Front. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then everybody else two by two behind me. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Maybe even two squares behind me. Because so, you got that lovely reach. So Do we want to put the Yosoki next to each other? Are you comfortable and then with two walls next to each other? Uh, no, right Yosoki, one front, one back. Okay. We should put. All right. So Ozzy in the front. Yeah. And then two then an empty space. Two empty spaces? No, no uh, one empty space. One empty space. I don't want you to uh, All right, and then, then, ghost. Then uh, to Ozzy's back right. That'll that'll be me. Ghost. I want I would like him in front of me. He is kill happy. Yeah, I want to <laughs> be next to him. In front. Yeah. Okay, so, so we'll go next. Nala is behind Ghost. Lisi. I Lisi is Ozzy's left and next to Ghost. Yes. And then Trigger is in the back left. And I don't know if you guys have an impression of Ghost, but he's not strong. Minus one strength. Not good with melee at all. And he can't see. He talk, stop talking to describe him yourself. Uh, every and time that, he runs, he has to roll to see if he messes up his knee. Despite <laughs> being very careful and having a brace on. Now, in a single file marching order, Ozzy's still in the lead. Yeah, yeah, for sure. With with a space between me and the mm-hmm. next person. And then Ghost, probably number two. Nala. We see. Ghost. Nala. DC and Trigger is the okay. safety man in the back. All right. So, uh, Bob, you want to zoom in back here? Absolutely. Hey, Jeff, I've been, it's taken me an hour. Perfect. And he finishes? I guess still feel my feet. Was that scotch? What was that? You that was scotch. <laughs> Mostly ice. Eventually. It was How old was ice. that scotch? <laughs> About an hour. You just heard him. All right. So, the... <laughs> The four posts represent the interior of the airlock. Okay. Of the door on each side. Do we seal the airlock when we and then repressurize it? You tell me. You you can yeah. seal the airlock. You cannot repressurize the ship except from the bridge. Well, I think if That's we want to repressurize, I just wondering, like like that area is it separated? You you I guess you could you could technically provide a seal. We'll, we'll still we'll still have our. You you could you could you could, you could have the airlock be a safe location. For removing your, your your equipment, if you so chose, we want we want to we want to uh, create a lock, open it, it pressurizes partially, and then we go out into it, so that if we do open up in the in the inner ship is uh, has an atmosphere, we could the inner ship does not have an atmosphere. You know that. Oh okay. Yeah, the airlock is open. Can we? I, I, I was just wondering what you were saying. Like, is it just? Around that bulkhead that was clo- everything oh, yeah. else was closed, and that just that airlock was open, or is the or interior just of the, the ship rear section? Open? Yeah, yeah. I think we need to just close the airlock, All right? Because if we're going to repressurize the ship, the airlock's got to be closed first. That's what I mean. Like our ship comes up, closes that airlock. You're really confusing the hell out of me. I think I think you're you're, you're blow the ship up. No, yeah. it's just too hard. <laughs> Light it on fire. Open fire. <laughs> Yes, Ghost. Our, yeah. our, our, our ship is pressurized. Our airlock is depressurized. Their whole ship is... Their, the whole rear of their ship, at least, is depressurized. Right. Their airlock is open. We're going to close that outer inner airlock door. 
but we're so not going to be able to repressurize really anything. Lose air pressure. Exactly. Yeah. That's the word we're looking for. That's <laughs> uh, and I <laughs> want to confirm when the whole group goes out, uh, Ghost stays back a little bit just to see if the drone follows the main group. Just trying to get an understanding: does it follow the main group in that case, or does it stay with Ghost who hangs back? It um. It more or less follows the main group. Perfect. Okay. Of course. So I'm um, reviewing a little, um, more, a little more here. Bob, if you want to zoom out, just a, just the like two squares or three squares. To the which way, sir? Zoom out. Oh, zoom out. Okay. Enhanced. Uh, those are two doors, the top and bottom there, that enter main engineering. The doors are oh the yellow these big white these big yellow these big things yellow things okay um, so and then there's there is there is a little more to reveal north and south of those I think we should fully investigate we should fully investigate this compartment before we continue forward you are smart neither said nobody ever <laughs> all right are you um, I'm going to use my detect magic spell to see if there's anything mm. wonky all right do you have to roll anything for that. Uh, nope. Alright, is that a cantrip? Detect. All, it's a spell. It's a level zero spell. It's a cantrip. Okay. So you have, you, you can use that in that, as many as you want of those. Yep. Just, just be constant, ca ca casting it constantly. I would be. There, there, there. If there, I had that there, ability there, in real life, there, I'd be there, casting there. it all the freaking time. I'm going to cast days constantly. <laughs> Why do you do this to me again? Stop <laughs> that. I, I will assume you cast that at periodic intervals and tell you if there's anything that is worth knowing. Okay. Hmm. Look um, at that. That was nice. That was nice. Thanks, boss. Nice. <laughs> um, so, it says, um, you detect all magic spells, effects, items, objects, and hybrids, including those on or affecting creatures you can see. So, it could be them, I guess, because there's nobody there. Mm -hmm. Nothing um, on ghost glows. You, you cannot detect magical traps or determine if there are magic sources in areas you can't see. Or if there was a magic source in an area at one time that has. Okay, I will let you know if any magic shows up. Yeah, basically. Okay. I will assume you. I will assume you cast this every twenty or so feet. Enough to be really annoying. You don't have to tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, the draw. I tell the draw. Do you head? I will. I will go with north and south or up and down. Whatever, left, right. I like north and south. For, the, for our map purposes? Yeah. Guys yeah. Cool with that? You, you guys can actually hear the, the, the drone whispering to itself. We have entered the Acreon. What will we find here? Nobody knows what happened to the crew. Maybe Stop we should do port and start. Should we do port There's and start? There's a drone following them reporting back. Yeah. What's that? We should. We, we should try. We should try port and start aft. instead of north and south. Right? And then aft and four. If that's sure. the aft, then... We're moving forward. That is the port, port. and this is the starboard. Star Correct. Are you going... I mean, I have this, this is the shot. Uh, port we or starboard? Are, we are at the exploring and examining the location that we were in first. I think everyone yep. agrees. So we need to go... We're going to go starboard first. Okay, for the sake of conversation, right now I'm just going to put... I'm just going to put... I'm just going to put... <laughs> Not all of there. For that, not all of represents the entire party at this okay. point. Okay. So I like to move one, one person at a time. Sounds good. So we are searching for any signs of fighting, struggle, damage on the walls, conduits. We're looking for a connection to the computer so we can connect into the system computer. Uh, yeah, you, you recognize that the... Total molecule. <laughs> you, you, you recognize on the other side of these doors is the main engineering area. The, the core, the, the, you know, the engine core will be in there. Right. But we're looking for clues. Yep. About going through those doors yep. just yet. So are you heading aft or so starboard? Fully investigate this uh, let's go to the right. Let's go starboard. Starboard. It's down. Port or starboard. Mm -hmm. It's not aft. You're starboard. right, Jules. We came from the aft. We don't want to go to the aft after we've been there. What is that blue Nothing. set of Nobody. stuff? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if the scroll down below. These blue items that are kind of glowy that have wires, is that... Uh, they're, they're not functioning right now. Mm -hmm. You recognize them as just different pieces of equipment. Okay. Um, might be related to the mining, might be related to ship functions, so on and so forth. Uh, Ghost draws his weapon. I had assumed you guys had your weapons drawn and ready yet. Okay. <laughs> just in case. And then stuffs it back in the cheek pouch. And it does, it's a wall all the way farther. Yeah, I mean, there's some equipment down further, further down there. But there's really nothing much 
of excitement down here. Okay, so nothing, e- even if we roll a good perception check, there's nothing new. There. Correct. Okay, so it just comes, okay, so now we do port, and we do the same type of uh, review over there on All right. the opposite side. All right, so you're heading back to the top of the map. Right. Not going through the doors, just We're going to the port side. Yeah. All right, so when you get to this point, actually, I'm going to put Ozzy there. Ozzy is first. Uh, Nala is back to Ghost would be here. In front of Nala. What's he talking about? <laughs> is, he, is he saying suicide squeeze? And trigger. <laughs> he doesn't fool around. He's taking this very seriously. Reveal. All right. And then I need to go back to here. Homework at the back. <laughs> and tokens for that. What was the name of his back? Did he have a name for it? Wonder something. Wonder that? Oh, that looks. What's this? No, oh. interesting. Oh. oh, there's multiple. Then they're closer. Shields up, Captain. As soon as the light comes on. Terror guards. That looks like that thing from Frozen 2. Yeah. Yeah. Terror- I'm actually Terror- going to show you what that Terror- thing looks like. Terrigen? Oh. The from it looks the like the water horse from the Frozen oh, 2. It looks like in our atmosphere. We like live through radiation poisoning and Tar- oh, tardigrades. cockroaches? Tard- tardigrades. 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 Alright, if you scroll down, Bob, yeah, cockroaches. you'll see wow. a horrible looking headed oh. creature leaps out of the dark. Wow. What kind of sound do they make? It, it makes a silent screeching noise. Trick question. There's no air, so there's no sound. You know? <laughs> that's why I said it's silent. That's why it was silent screeching. That's horrifying. Wow. That is uh, I, I believe it's going to be a, a surprise round for them, so you guys can ever make a um, how do Is we it? do that? Perception oh, check? Doing that? Hey guys, oh. we've surprised them. It's a surprise round for them. No, <laughs> sorry about. You mean you wish to <laughs> surrender to me? Surrender to me? Very well. <laughs> oh, I rolled a nat twenty. Perception. This is perception. Yeah. Uh, twenty-two. Thirteen. What am I rolling against? It's okay. You can. You don't roll have perception. No. Oh my god. I have three skill points. Three skill points? Yes, perception didn't make the list. I want to use my diplomacy and talk to these guys. <laughs> hey! No. It's, um, there's no air. Uh, Good story. <laughs> that, that's probably why I'm not going to talk yeah, to them. Yeah, we're, all our communication is just, is, is uh, cons. Yeah. All right, every, all, and, it's, and they, it's all via the, the telepathic. Oh, like the telepathic back connection. Back connection. Too. That's true. All right, so you've you seen what he looks like. Jeff. That's pretty much the scariest thing you've ever seen. That is horrifying. It's Does it look like anything we've ever seen? Yes. Uh, actually, I'm going to ask you for a culture check or a life science check. Ooh, but you have to I'm be trained in life science. If you have, you must have a life, you must be trained in a life in life science. Okay, what's, what's the point of the perception check? The perception check is for surprise. An, the ambush, the surprise. Okay, I was not surprised. <laughs> Would you roll? I rolled a nat twenty. Um, you and then were my perception still. check was, uh, and then I got I have a two for perception, so twenty two. Twenty four in life science for ghost. Okay, let, let me get the. All right. Okay, who succeeded in the perception check? What was the DC? Yeah. It's... How do I determine that? Uh, it's I'm still learning the rules too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't no, I don't. Um, you should have been here for space combat. <laughs> oh my god. That was, it was a little rough. But we got. I'm, I'm gonna set the DC at twenty. I don't, think okay. I don't think that's unfair. Failed. Succeeded, Jules. Succeeded. Jeff? I'm sorry, which one was that? Did Your perception. perception. Failed, but did great on the life science. Okay. Oh, I, have to I got a 21. I succeeded. You succeeded. <laughs> uh, Trigger, what was your perception? I, I, I failed. I got 16. All right. I also what? succeeded on life science. Wait, hold on. Shh. Did everybody hear what Mike just said? He yeah. failed, failed a roll. <laughs> <laughs> just hang him up. He's done. Huh. It was nice playing with you, Mikey. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see your options a little better. Let me know if that's too much. All right. Uh, life science checks. Who made a DC of 11? Ghosted. All right. You recognize this as an Akata. It is a medium aberration. Oh. Um, what, I mean, Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> and then, did anybody make a 16 or higher? I did. Oh, all three of did. You recall that it has a, a, a strange weakness of nice. salt water. 
Do we happen to have any? We have holy water. We have holy water. Yes, that's salty. Was the holy water salted? No. Or also All right, now I need a... No low sodium diet. No, there is no salt in my holy water. Oh, wait, so we're on a ship in an airless environment. I'm going to use my dragon breath. <laughs> <laughs> and now I need an init check from everybody. Oh, what? Oh. Init. Init, okay. There was nothing beyond, because a 24 perception check, life science check, doesn't give us much more? No, it does not. All right. 14. 15. Oh. Okay. Eight. Well, Eight. Eight. was what? 15. 15. Ozzie. Mike, did you forget your dice again? 15, you said, Jules? Yes. I, yeah. No, I have them. They're just not cooperating today. Oh, they're 18. mad at you for using Ozzie, the was it 14? Dice. 14. For yes, Ozzie. they're they're uh, they're a little upset from last time. Yeah. Trigger. 21. 18 for trigger. Come on. I was gonna say, what did you change your character's name, Jeff? <laughs> do you want me to do? And it, these right? guys got. Uh, where is it? <coughs> is it plus six? 19. Whoa. Oh, they're fast. Oh. So they beat everyone, but Nala, that's fine. No, Nala, were you surprised or not? No. Uh, I don't think she was. Your you were not. Did you beat your 20 perception check? She and I, I both beat the perception check. Right, I didn't so beat 20 for perception. So you can yeah, act. I did not beat 20 for perception. Okay, then you, you were surprised. On my, uh, you were surprised. Everybody was surprised except for yeah. Ilyse and Ghost. and Ghost. You may act. Oh, really? One action. You cannot move. You can move or you can attack, but not both. Uh, can I daze one of them? Ooh. Is it? Are they considered humanoid creatures? No. Nope. <laughs> nice oh, that try. That's a great idea. That would have been awesome. That, that should be your go-to feature. It is at this at this point. Mm -hmm. It's got a shelf life too, right? It's only like DC three or lower. Uh, yeah. yeah. CR three. CR three. Honestly, it should it should change with level a little bit. I think, but well, you're, that would make it. Really I know it's a cantrip. Low. It's basically yeah. a cantrip. Good job. Just make that noise anywhere. Add. I think you're probably just using your eyes with a pistol. I guess. You don't want to waste... The thing is, they look like they're made of water, so I'm not going to try to use my knife on them. We don't know from the life science checks what sort of attacks they make. Correct. Okay. All right, well, I you, made a really good life science check. I know you did. Did you have your pistol drawn already? Yes. Okay. You, okay, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to suggest... I'm going to make a note that um, their bite... Their friends. bite will, will impregnate the... By T, with their larva. Oh God! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Representing a disease. I can't wait to get Ozzy pregnant in a minute. That sounds fun. Because <laughs> you're gonna hit. I am. Well, All right. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna tell Ozzy to get out of the way, and I'm gonna magic missile these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna but magic missile one of them. No, both of them. You have three. Oh no! This is interesting. Hmm. If. She doesn't move in a regular round. She gets th an extra missile. She has to go from two to three. Mm. This being a surprise round, she can't move, so I would hold that you only get the option for two. That's fine. There's only two of them. Wait, but she's not... Oh, because it's not a regular round. Right. Because she has less time to, to act. Your call. As long as you're consistent. In the, um, I'd like to say that it does not say anything in here about the whole action business. It says it can be up to three... Depending on the location of the creatures. Read the last sentence. Oh. Technically, she's not moving. <laughs> out loud, Jules. No, I'm not going to. No, read it out, no, read it out loud for me, please. <laughs> I don't want to. Please read it out loud. Or just give it to me and I'll read it. Is if it... you do, you fire three missiles instead of two. <laughs> if you do not move. <laughs> okay, so it's movement. It's not doing it as a standard action. Correct. No, full it's a full action. action. Page 338. Full. Yeah. You definitely can't do a full action. No, I am going to do... So it's the, not about not moving. At one of them or one at each of them? One at each. Because... All right, these guys will tell you right now, focus fire is your is your choice. Because yeah. if, it has, if, it, if something has one hit point, it's still as effective as if it had full hit points. What? I'm very confused. Put you want to focus your fire on one of them. Put all your damage to one creature if you can. Oh, okay. Because then that'll be one less that we have to... That, gets, that bites oh, us. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right. You want a magic missile or you want to use your azimuth laser pistol? I want the magic missile. All right, please give me your sound effect. Boom! All right, thank you. Actually, the sound effect would be... Because we're... Actually, <laughs> no, she's actually making that sound in her comm unit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when the... Give me your damage. Give me your damage. To everyone in the group. You, you are hitting um, the one that is directly in front of Ozzy. To the left of Oz, this one, Jules? 
Left, the one on the left. Oh, uh, no, the other. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess the one for the, the one closer to the <laughs> thrusters. Yeah. You know, in Star Wars, the actors always had the problem in the lightsaber scenes because they would make the sounds, and the director would have to cut and say, we can't use that material. Please, please stop making the noise. <laughs> Especially the first one before the sounds were... Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Four! Um, oh! Yeah, so five force damage um, for each missile, so that's ten. One you force roll damage. each missile separately? Two. I was gonna let you roll each missile separately. Okay. okay. What if I don't okay. want to roll each missile? No, okay. So, so, so. Pick now. <laughs> I'm giving you the choice right now. Okay, I'm gonna roll separately. Yeah. That is my. Uh, that will be my choice separately. as well. Good choice. Three. Okay. That's good. So too. one's a five. One's a five. Stop one's a four. Stop being surprised when you roll. Well. <laughs> <laughs> <That happens. laughs> so, well, you know, my genetic pool doesn't give me the best. Uh, I know, right? Look what she's got to draw for. What are you doing? Inspect it. So, so your magic points. missiles pass, pass by, whiz by Ozzy's head, impacting the creature. Can I, do I have enough time to... Oh, no. I can't no. yell. I no. can't yell, Ozzy, get down. No. Damn, we got no sound. Yeah, oh, no you have no sound. sound. Oh, yeah. Can I telepathically yell, Ozzy, get down? All right, so they no both... Sound, no atmosphere? No, we're no, yeah, we were in no atmosphere. Yeah. They both attack Ozzy with their, their bite attack. Uh, uh, but how much oh. did... Uh, and I'm flat footed, minus two to AC. Oh jeez. Uh, excuse me. Well the, the natural three <laughs> probably plus miss. eight is eleven, plus two is thirteen. Keep trying. Now do you see why it's the natural why sixteen. Now do you see why it gets plus eight. That hits. What's your uh, what's your K A C? Uh it is nineteen. That is oh, wonderful. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I just yes. spent a thousand credits on armor. <laughs> Alright, so you have six damage plus a void bite. So you can, why don't you just make your fortitude check now? <laughs> I bet you got a really good fortitude there. It's a four. Oh, my fortitude is a zero. Fifteen. So you successfully avoid the impregnation of the creature. <laughs> wow. What was the DC on that? Oh, we don't know yet. The space rock grubs. You don't know. I will tell you that in, in the podcast, it did not go that well. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Fortitude, I have no bonus. No, you said, why don't I roll I, yeah, it now? I Am I supposed to roll it on my turn? Um, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, did, Triggered was flat-footed. He, not, he, he was surprised. Did they move forward uh, adjacent to... Yes, Wait a minute. They, they moved and attacked at the same time? That's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the DM. Okay. <laughs> Oh, because it's a surprise round. Oh, I see your point. I see what, I was, I see what you're saying. As soon, they, they waited until you were within range to attack. I just didn't place it here correctly. Ah, that's gotcha. right. That's so, right. I didn't notice them even though I almost stepped on them. <laughs> they, were, they were hiding in the rafters and dropped out on you. I missed that part. I was in the bathroom. I know. When okay. we did our life science checks of 24, <laughs> did we notice uh, if they are thinking creatures? Are they mindless? You don't know enough to answer that. Okay. But they're not magic. What are their dreams? What are their... Well, they're they're yeah. they, they, they want to spread their seed by impregnating humanoids. Much like any, any 18-year-old boy. Just okay. very... <laughs> You're up. 18-year-old uh, humanoid. I really don't want to get bit. Do I go defense or do I go offense? Uh, there's clearly only one answer here. Offense. <laughs> uh, we got a good, we got a good uh, blocker of the way, so... Yeah. We just all well, retreat to the... Sh- Oh, Ghost is still acting in the surprise round. Yes. Uh, so I cannot take a full attack, so trick attack is out. Mm-hmm. So I think it would just be a standard... Laser gun. Laser gun. Uh, the and then go out. for the guy on the left. Thank you. So. Full attack. No. Trick attack. No. And How many times have you actually gotten to use trick attack? Not enough. Not enough. Uh, I rolled a natural 9, which goes to a 14 against EAC. Ooh, that is just a hit. And that will be three fire damage to our blue friends. Friend. Do you want so to right click 12. on him and make him a, give him a dot or something? Sure but does, does he get damaged? We don't, oh, did it look like it damaged? It did, it did hurt him. What I meant was, does he get lit on fire? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, he doesn't get no. lit. Only with a critical. Okay. All right. He's now we are at the top of the order. surprise round is over. Now is up. Is anybody going to yell red alert? <laughs> you did miss the proximity alert earlier. Okay. That was nice. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll play it for Joel because I know he'll like it. It was good sound. Proximity alert. Vessel approaching. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got attacked. That was a precursor to the attack. Yeah. It was good. Nala, you're up. Uh, which one do we hurt so far? Can you mark the one on the, the left. On the left. 
Oh, that's <laughs> that's what you were saying. Yeah. Gotcha. Because gotcha, gotcha. he can right click and add a dot or something. I will send out a thought. Oh, nice. Saying, nice. just kill it. That one on the left. Let's get that one first. And get him. Then I will. Everybody has plus one to their attack roll. Then awesome. I will attack that. I will shoot that one with my laser. I assume because I'm flat footed, I'm not providing my bonus. Because I can't make opportunity Correct. attacks right now. Uh, yeah, I, remember to do, I remember to do his laser. Do you get better? <laughs> 17. Do you get better 17 hits the EAC. EAC. That's going to hit. Like, I hit on I ready for some big they, 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 damage. They, 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 they make my, my cat Two damage. Good. Nice. Well, yeah. we're in good heels. It's still alive? It is still alive. Oh, okay. That's surprising. It's twice as much as one. <laughs> there it's you go. 16 points and still standing. That is pretty solid. That is scaring me. <laughs> yeah. Seeing as we haven't even started on the other one. All right, they um, they both once again attack. Uh, Ozzy, one, wait, one question. I'm still flat footed. Uh, inspiring on him, stamina back. I already used that. Now. Okay, sorry. Right, so what did you take? I took six. Why would do that instead of uh... get him? No, no, get him is way better. Get him is my move action. Oh, instead of fire, no, killing him is better right now. I agree. Right. I still have ten stamp. I mean, oh. sorry, trying not to mess. Oh! This is gonna be bad. Oh, what There's did you do? Ray? Natural fourteen and natural twenty. What's your uh, 14? <laughs> so the, the natural 14 plus 8. Uh, my minus 2 KAC? Yeah. yeah. Well, and all. And EAC. All right. So that is going to be... That is going to be a first hit. Oh, it's a D6. Oh, boy. Ooh, 7. So you hit me for 7? Yes. Hmm. On the right. first one. Um, We're not into hit points yet, are we? Not yet. Okay. And then my crit, which was a natural 20. This is going to get me into hit points. <laughs> into, it was a natural 20. Oh, it's actually a D6 plus 2, so it was 5 plus 2. That's 7, guys. I said that, right? Yeah. So this is going to be these plus 4. How many dice do you have in your hand? 2 D6. D6. Whoa. Whoa, these things are not messing around. So 7 plus 4 is 11. Eight. Oh boy, I think we're, we're, are we into hit points now? Oh yeah, we're into oh, hit points. We're way into hit points. <laughs> we're into almost half hit points. Oh my Stop. god. Dude. Just like yours. Okay. And now I'll take your four check. I take two, Stop right? Uh, yeah, I, I guess two, yeah. Uh, that's a DC, well that's higher than before. That's a 19. I'll let you have that one. Oh, that's a uh, 12. That is successful as well. Okay. No babies for you yet. <laughs> Trigger. Do you wear a red shirt? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm the guy in front. I have, You're I up, have buddy. the best armor, so I don't get hit as much. The guy with the yellow it's is the damaged one. We've done 16 points on the guy with the yellow dot. So just far. He hasn't gone down, Trigger. He's fading a little bit in and out. He's, he's looking more wispy. Ooh. It's like he's aberrant. Mm. I guess we're going to attempt to just go after the guy with the damage first. With your... Uh, with, with my slingshot. <laughs> also known as your Azimuth laser pistol? Exactly. Uh, 16, sneaky, smoothy one. Uh, no, 19. Is it hit? Mike is the engineer <clears throat> pilot. They switched roles. It was kind of weird. I'm still working through it. <coughs> damage? Three points of damage. Zero, not an eight. Oh, he's hurting bad, but he's still up. Yeah. Ghost, you're up. Uh, Use the Sulu. I think trick attack on the damage one. All right. You do that ranged? Oh yeah. It's, uh, Voice. It's for re as long as the weapon has the operative type. So if the enemy CR is eight or less, that's a good roll. Right? It is. Uh, mm. Then I get the trick attack. You guys are missing the Wesley crusher. Full attack, no. That's what we need. Triple attack, yep. Yeah. We're not, we don't want to kill anybody I rolled a 24 on EAC. <laughs> on natural 19. You blow it away. So that is <laughs> two ones. The trick attack damage is one, and the azimuth pistol is one as well. Two fire damage. Two fire damage kills the creature. Oh. Yeah, the right. the, the um, transparency fades away. Do you have any, uh... Leaving nothing else. Uh, at least you're up. Do you have a shield or parry? There's somebody I else. Parry? I have fight defense. Um, Minus four to attack, plus two to AC. Hey, your coordinated mm. attack is kicking in now. I'm uh, not until my turn. I'm still flat footed. Okay. Wait a minute. My, just, oh. Did I get to go? No, because you were flat. You were yeah, after you're last. 
Oh, you were flat footed okay. during the so surprise no. round, no? Yeah. I'm flat footed until you act on your turn. Okay. These were good innits, guys. The lowest was Ozzy with a. That was a, it really was a good knit roll for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use my energy ray spell. Is that a uh, cantrip? Yes. Okay. Energy ray. Um, I don't have a sound effect for that. You want me to use pew pew? Make, okay. <laughs> so apparently we're in Star Wars, not Star Trek or. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what's cat, the other cat, one? Cat Wars? Cat, cat <laughs> no, um, start Firefly. They didn't, they didn't do a... There was like a no noise in my brain Firefly. that did not translate to what came out of my mouth. It so right. sounded like a cat all. So what does your energy blast do? Um, do you hit with it on a ranged attack against the target's EAC. Um, if you hit, the target gains two temporary negative levels. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. No, that seems like kind of an important thing for you to know. What's it called? Energy blast? Energy ray. Energy ray. Well, it's about the end of negative levels. It's, I mean, it's a CR1 creature, so negative levels would probably kill it. I Maybe. see energy ray is 1d3 acid, cold, electricity, or fire. Am I mistaken there? Energy ray is 1d3 damage. You may have written the wrong one down. It sounds awfully powerful. When yeah. you cast the spell, you choose either acid, cold, electricity, or that fire. That is definitely not what I wrote. Then you fire at the target. You make an attack against its EAC, and if you hit, you do 1d3 of the chosen energy type. And that's a cantrip. Anyway. And that is a cantrip, yeah. So it's not your azimuth laser pistol. I'm going to use that. The azimuth laser pistol? No, the energy ray. Okay. The laser pistol is 1d4. The energy oh, ray is 1d3. I'll use the, the laser pistol. This is really good against creatures that are weak to a certain type You need, type your, D you need your D20. Pew, 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 pew! <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh we rolled a 20! <laughs> okay, so 20. 2d4. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, okay. Natural so it's a 20. d4 plus a d4 fire, right? Twice. No, the d4 fire is once. The d4 fire is once. But it's 2d4 for damage. 2d4 yes. for damage plus a d4 four for fire damage plus later. d4 and d6. I don't know. Is what are your two D fours? Uh, combined seven. <gasps> wow, nice, nice roll in. And then roll one more. For how much they're on fire. So on their turn, they will take this damage. Hey, it was a four when it fell. On and the this is a count. Is that's on fire. Fire. Three. Full that's action. a great roll. That, that was awesome. Jules, that was an amazing turn. <laughs> yeah, good, because I'm going to bed now. <laughs> I have calc test tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, Guys, I have homework. Ozzy, you are up. Last man Okay, Ozzy is now no longer flat-footed. Yay! So he provides a plus one to ranged attacks as long as the guy's in a th square that I threaten. And I probably should look at my character. You'll plus one forget him, too. So, plus one. I'm going to roll. I'm going to do uh, fight defensively. Mm -hmm. So, I take a minus four, four penalty to attacks. But I gain a plus two bonus to AC until the start of my next turn. Yeah, you should tell me that later on. Tell me that when I'm shooting on your head. So, uh, yeah, 10 with the minus four. That's uh, six. 16. Whoa, whoa. You can't go from 10 and mm -hmm. say minus four and get 16. <laughs> 10 <laughs> has a minus four. The math doesn't work there for me. 10, <laughs> 10, 10 with the minus four. <laughs> okay. Plus I'm, six is dude, 16. I'm teasing you. It's, <laughs> okay. Well, you should get this too. Uncle Joel. What are these two? Yeah, just leave it right there. Don't be joking, step in, and then we'll tell them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seven damage. Seven? Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly! Dang. On a D four, and I rolled two. That's I, fantastic. Wait. No, six. Six. Sorry. Kill me here, Whitey. This is wonderful. Yeah, that's what he's yeah. trying to do. Yeah. It is literally, <laughs> literally what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Well, All right, top of the order, Nala. <coughs> Kill this thing before it attacks again. An extra plus one to hit. Reach out on that first one. Now let's all get that second one. I, I was hitting the second one. Do you want to give the stamina? Record. Yeah. He's the one that was alive. Yeah. I wasn't whipping the And I will then give Adam Same an hit. inspiring boost saying, Hey, Vesk, I thought you guys were tougher than that. <laughs> no. You can do it. Take down that. I don't believe you because you don't sound like you. Turkey. <laughs> do you, you want it tougher than that? No. <laughs> Alright, now I'll take it. He's a man. He is talking crap about you. <laughs> this is Robo Camera. Oh my god, is this an intense combat? Eight. These guys have been doling out the damage back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> uh, whenever this combat is over, is I take the time to inform the drone of exactly what those things are. I change my get em. 
sorry. Go ahead, no. <laughs> Trick attack. I was going to go after the... Uh, Robo Cosa. Ro- <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Plot immunity. Uh, it doesn't mean we can't try. Jeff's, Jeff's class has a, a ability called Get Him, which he says... Get him, and it gives everyone plus one to hit that creature it's his, as his move action. And there's this floating camera robot that's following us around, recording our actions, transmitting it back to our boss. All right, did you did you attack Jeff? No, and I did my I did, uh, heal. Okay, universe. they must be a pretty tough army. All right, so do they take their damage before they save? Uh, no, they take the oh sorry, they take the damage first, they burn, and then you make the save. <clears throat> save a four is a failure. Ooh. Now there's something about the save gets harder. It's it, okay. It's okay because it, it doesn't matter what happens next turn. Okay. If, he, if he hasn't saved, it doesn't matter what happens next turn. Okay. He's hurting pretty bad. He will once again attack Ozzy. Right. You, you have an AC bonus, you said though, right? Yep, plus I have an AC plus two. Okay. Is this kinetic? Piercing. Yeah, yeah it's kinetic. Uh, nineteen. Ooh. Plus two saved me. There you go. You are a nineteen, right? What's that? You are a nineteen. Yeah. 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 Nice. Wow. He, he jumps, he, he peers, he clamps onto you, and you, you that shake him off. Smart. <laughs> shake him off before he can hurt you in any capacity. Triggers up. That armor Trigger. is a great investment. The, the armor and which, then uh, book of the Which book. one is left? Just the one to the, what would be the right? Yes. Yeah, the one without the X. Well, it's hard to see the X on my screen, honestly. Uh, really? You might want to need to zoom in a little bit. Oh, really? That red X should be pretty easy, I thought. Guys, it's not fighting here. Come on. <laughs> no, we're, we're in a we fight. Are we are in a fight. <laughs> Jules, why don't you have another frowning mic? You guys those it might be the contrast in your screen, but that red X is, I mean... <laughs> That's okay, not... Mike. I just wanted to give Jeff a hard time. Uh, 15, 16, 17, <laughs> 18. Nice. How was it, Mikey? Eighteen. Eighteen is a hit. Well, they're laid out well. They can it's roll. It's working. Well. Huh? Yeah, actually, right, I'm I'm bopping, uh, pretty good for me. Eight point damage. Mm-hmm. A whopping two points of damage. That could kill him. That maybe. whopping two points of damage kills him. Yes. Yeah. It was a strategically paced two points of damage. You know, trigger the other the other rat actually killed the other guy with two points of damage as well. It's like we're we're destined it's to kill you. Sympathetic over there. Trigger, well done. That was very good. And Bob just said that he and Trigger were destined to kill, and now I'm really scared. All right. I think we might have found out what happened to the crew. Question is, where did they come from? I think oh, you... also... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you going to... Um... All right, we'll do, I'll search those bodies. Are there bodies yeah, to search? I, I'm assuming you'll search the area along with the bodies. Yeah. Yes. All right, everybody give me a perception check. 19. 11. 10. All right. What? what? Uh, should I also? If you want to roll. Uh, you know. My perception is two. It's okay. It's not relevant. Nineteen is more than adequate. All right. All right. You guys uh, search the area a little bit. You. What page was I at here? Except for energy, right? I'll copy that one now. Uh, <laughs> we won't use energy, right? It's okay. Uh, underneath one of the engineering consoles is a tactical arc emitter. It has 12 charges remaining. Nice, sweetie. Nice, sweetie. Pop pulls up the uh, the PDF all the time. Just to see. Um, You continue to search and you find uh, 300 UPBs in salvage. How many? Universal polymer bases, 300. Um, Salvage from the tech lab. I'll let Bob make note. I'll give Bob a second to make note of that. I did. I threw it in the chat already. All right. And you find two of the um, Akata cocoons cracked open once they come out of. Ooh. And they all they are they are actually composed of a um, gelatinous base. Material known as Noqual. And How do you it, spell that? N O Q U A L. Everybody give me a culture check. I have no idea. I got this. Actually, this is a physical sciences check. I still have physical no science. Idea. Roll Jules' physical science. Oh. Jules, Joel. Roll Jules' physical science check. Yes, please. I rolled a 17 for Jules. No, Joel's rolling it. He rolled a 16. Plus 8. Okay. 
All right, Jules will will, will state that uh, Noqual is a star metal, one of several precious metals mined from asteroids and scattered at worlds throughout the universe. Uh, it looks somewhat like a pale green crystal, but can be worked as easily as iron or steel. Hmm. Its crystalline structure gives it a strength that belies its surprisingly low weight. Is it an element? Surprisingly, or? it is most importantly it is resistant to magic. Objects made of Noqual gain a plus four bonus of saving throws against the magical effect. It's Sixty-three and a half. Um, one bulk of Noqual is worth 500 credits. You found two bulk. Ooh. That's worth more I than 500 it's, credits. It's yeah. worth like twice as much. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Is in order. Yeah. We are rich. Let us get off right. the ship. We are we done now. <laughs> and now we're ready? Yeah, now we're good. All Thanks right. for good stopping to see by, you. Joel. Joel, great seeing you. You scared us initially? You. Yes. Did you want a couple of brownie bites before you go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You want a little chicken and stuffing? No. <laughs> Jeff, finish with a little bit that's in there so I don't have to watch put that pack it up. So is this like if a you don't, I will. Star Trek, everybody speaks yeah. English? No matter what There's a common. On. There's universal common language. I speak French sometimes. <laughs> Poorly. Poorly. <laughs> Poorly. I'm oh, sorry, French accent sometimes. <laughs> Poorly. I speak Vasque. I have no idea what that sounds like. I, am, I have an idea of what that might sound like. But we know we have a translator under our column. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll set up an NPC and jump in there. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll call him Barclay. <laughs> <laughs> Get easy, right. Mr. Joel. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And drive safely. Yes. That was not disruptive at all. No, it was not. All right. Um, you successfully scanned through this part of engineering. You have the two doors, the oh, Ashton oh. Starboard door. You have your Noqual, which is worth um, two bulk of Noqual, which is worth a thousand credits. It's kind of heavy. I got the I got the room for it. Why don't we? We'll just throw it back in the shuttle. Why don't it's right we put there. it in the shuttle? Wise idea. Now I am really worried that somebody is going to take our Noqual from the shuttle. Are there keys for this thing? Can well, we put it in <laughs> Why don't you put it in the shuttle? <coughs> I'm going to, but what if somebody steals the shuttle? I just locked it. She just locked it. I am still in the shuttle. I cannot get out now. Oh, she gets scared of comprehend languages. Okay. That's right. Do you know what I do? Shh. Shh. You can't take out spark plugs of a shuttle, can you? Like in my car, if I take no. out the spark plugs, nobody can start the car. Distributor caps usually the way to go. Oh, because the spark plugs are down in the engine. You know, we'll just take the keys. Uh, lock the lock the console. <laughs> I have an idea, Captain. Uh, I think if we go into the corridor, I think we will find more of these creatures. No, so we only saw the Z two uh, incubation pods. Yes. Pods. Hey. Yes. So here is the idea. Why don't a couple yeah, of us better. go outside the ship, along the top, and we can look in the windows, and we can look in the front of the bridge, and we can see what is there, and they cannot kill us. I cannot kill them. That is the problem with the plan. But you did a very good job killing. We would not and have. You, uh, you know. We would not have seen them from the outside. They they were hidden from us even in here. But they will not know that we are outside. They cannot hear us. We cannot see them. I am good at seeing things. But Maybe not good enough to see them. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I did not see them. That is true. Besides those two, I see them. <laughs> I, think, I think it only takes 10 minutes to go there and back, no? Is this a good idea or no? I'd be surprised if you saw anything useful. These creatures are hard to see. These They were crawling around. You didn't see them until they were right on top of you. They are blue. They are big and blue. Uh, transparent. Uh, opaque. Can you see them or not see them? <laughs> okay, you so are opaque. So we have the window glass is transparent. Okay. Like the aluminum. These are non... You don't look Say so it right. Transparent aluminum. Aluminium. Thank you. <coughs> you do not look so good. <coughs> I'm a little beat up. They... Got me pretty good. That is too bad. For oh, me. we should be taking ten minutes. You want to take ten? Uh, yeah. Yeah. In the podcast, the guy was like three of them were infected at this point. <laughs> it was pretty ugly. <laughs> and we don't even know what like getting infected does to you. Nope. Don't want to know either. I have a feeling it. During the time we bring the uh, 
the hots back to the, the shuttle? The feeds back, yeah. Okay. If you can do anything to redistribute resolve points amongst the group, that'd be fantastic. Because <laughs> no. I figure I'm going to use more of them than anybody else. I already gave you... But, you know, the worst uh, thing is, it didn't excuse matter. Me. I can give you more once you take more damage. What are you at now? Well, I... Re- I yeah, my, my stamina is completely full because I took a... Took 10 minutes, I spent a resolve point. Okay. But your hit points are down 50%? Almost. Top up. Let's go. <laughs> I'm debating... Actually, each one is 5%. Because a player, I would heal him, of course. 60%. But Ghost is a jerk. And he will only heal you if it's in his interest. So... <laughs> you know, doing the healing, you'd have to get to the wounds. I'd have to, like... Take off my armor. I have three ship. healing serums. I don't. Think I have that. a healing serum as well, but oh yeah, maybe I should. Use you didn't buy serum. extra. I sent you guys an email. I didn't have any money. I did. I bought three. Oh, good job, man. Well done. A D eight. I can't fail. I might as well take a healing serum. <laughs> it keeps hitting against the face mask. <laughs> Lift it. I hold my breath. <gasps> and I get an embolism. I want to so so as, as previously stated, um, <laughs> you can use your if you. Choose to. You can use your Benny to re-roll a healing. Ch- a healing. Okay. This. So when you roll a one, was it two? <laughs> Seriously? I could do worse. Well, what bonus like, do you get when you do that? I believe it's zero. Hey, hey, I'm back up to full. And I would let you take the best, better of the two rolls. So if you roll the one, I will let you take the two. You want to take the two? <laughs> yeah, I think I should. <laughs> All right. So I'm striking that healing serum mark one off my list. You said that's a D8, right? It's a straight D8 for that. D8. But it occurs for to me, I, I really wanted to keep track of the ammunition. We're doing a terrible job of that. I'm keeping track. I keep here. track of my ammo perfectly all yeah. game so far. Because you haven't used any yet. I've used one <laughs> shot. I'm done. No, in our whole campaign. Okay. I believe Mikey so used two. Jules used one. Okay. I'll jot it down. <clears throat> I'm not keeping track of Jules. Where's our little pictures that have the... Uh... I know. I keep meaning the print and keep forgetting. I well, did actually I, have to work today. Then I have the demo. Today, right, let's, um, today was eat. sucked at work. I was telling you about it. I was working from home, and I worked all day. I was except, work- for, except for when I tried to take a nap and couldn't. I was working from in the office and probably worked like seven or eight hours today. That sucks. I, there was like full 45 minutes between emails some, like a couple times. From him? Yeah. Well, yeah. I got to email him, and he doesn't email me back for 45 minutes. It's like, <laughs> dude. What the hell are you doing over there at work? All right, you so you've, you've you've taken out those that round of akatas. You have a starboard and, and so a aft um, door. They came from above. Sort of. They were they were kind of hidden and, and just sprung out at you. In the shadows. So it's not like we could say, "Hey, look out, be careful," and like we'll see them again. Correct. We can't say that, and we could look for them. So we have and we get zero bonus for anything. Yeah. But we could look for them. It's yeah. port and starboard. Correct. You you can actually feel the the engine core operating on the other side of those doors, probably between those doors, mm-hmm. like the, the doors. Crazy? So I've got another question. Was there any food on the shuttle? And do we have do, do we have food? I mean, I know I've got the food has uh, the sh- the shuttle has food for thirty days, and there's also the life pods that have food for another fifteen days. So what I propose? Are you making that up? Look, some <laughs> today, okay? <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, you have you have enough stat- rations that if you spend a few days, it would be okay. I must assume then that within those rations, we can find either salty foods or salt itself to add to the food, and therefore, what this I'm, much salt packet is not adequate. You need a significant quantity of salt. You know, she knows that. So, but if it's thirty days of food, it's not enough fault salt. Plus, we don't have the water to mix it in. We do, have and how are we going to how are we going to throw it at? Them? Come on, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, salt water does 1d6. You can spend all you all the time you want on it if you want. It's not that great. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. All right. But. That's fine. If you want to fully immerse one in salt water, it's 4d6. But I don't think you're going to be carrying a bathtub. All right. Let's. Yeah. We've, we've <laughs> got, we've got a couch of cold water. Let's everybody, s- let's exercise and sweat as much as we can. <laughs> Swipe our sweat into a. Actually, yeah, I would urinate in there as well. And that should have a concentration. Let's drink lots of coffee. Still not coffee. Not enough. Still not saturated solution. Just salt water solution. But all right, all right back we'll, to where we were. It's ten forty-seven. We have an hour. We can still explore a few more, fair, fair amount more of the ship. We get more, more room. So, which one is engineering? Is it port or Star Wars? Actually, port? you you think that the <clears throat> I Mike you can't see this, but between the doors is probably yeah. where the core of engineering is. Did, the, did the actual we, engine core. Did we investigate the starboard side of this compartment? Yes. Okay, yeah, we did. I think you might have been in the restroom. Mm. But the engineering department, the engineering section of the ship. Yes. 
Those, those two no, doors probably, like a, probably uh, connect uh, in like uh, <laughs> connect to one room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and let's do port. We're closest to port. All right, you open the door carefully, stealthily. Listen, dra- 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 shining dra- lights dra- in on all surfaces. Yeah. Guys, I hear nothing at the door. I don't hear anything at the door. Vest, apart. <laughs> <laughs> there's no air. Well, we don't know if there's air in this compartment. Oh, is there air? Not yet. Did you guys close the air lock so that we yes. do t- attempt we to reseal it? Okay. Mm-hmm. You're yeah, we don't want like to, if it's hour. worth mentioning, we also put a code so that you have to enter a code to be able to actually open to get into the ship. Sure. Dying. I would steal the ship. I would I totally know you steal would. the ship. Stuff. <laughs> what? Stuff it? No, it's just look at the pretzel odds. He didn't actually. I he didn't dinner tonight. Right. All right, Ozzy, are you rounding that corner there to, to see? I, no, I'm peeking my head around it slowly, carefully. Do we have a mirror? <laughs> I don't believe that's in anybody's character sheet, so no. Wait, yes. It you could do. be. Actually, you do. Your your personal comm device has a selfie and a camera. So if you set it on camera mode and position it and then let it go, you, you can look around the corner. I stick my hand out there, take a picture, and then look at the picture. Perfect. Or video. <laughs> Holy shit! He came us. back with an Akata attached to his arm! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I rolled a 16. <laughs> <laughs> There's one in engineering. Evidently. Okay. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to play this legit? Or are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. I, I stuck my hand out. As there. long as he doesn't get poisoned, yeah, that's fine. I will bring everybody in. <clears throat> Sounds good. Um, Although, you, oh, I was going to say, I imagine it would have a hard time hitting me, but it's right there. I mean, we would be one square further back there. Seven. And they give me a fortitude check. <laughs> uh, so, 16. Minus seven is nine. Wait, he hit you on what roll? He, 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 My so natural he, sixteen. Oh, natural sixteen. Ah, uh, it's a ten fort. So uh, does, does the tie go to the runner or the fighter? It could go to the attacker. No. Well, it's the way we've always done it. I think, right? I thought, I thought it was saving throw. If it's equal to or greater than on a saving throw, that's good for him. Okay, good. We have any plus Come on, I want to make you pregnant. <laughs> This night won't be full complete until one of you guys is knocked up. <laughs> it's kind of kind of embarrassing to knock Nala up. She's a girl already. <laughs> I know. Jealous. I so so here's by the way, here's here's a brilliant printing method. Here's the ship. Here are rooms one through four. Uh, I, <laughs> I understand. <clears throat> I understand, but it's still like Tommy. So Mikey, you can't. Yeah. Here's the ship. Here's the description of rooms one through four. Flip, flip, oh my flip, god! Flip. <laughs> a little frustrating for me. I have a, I have a ton of, ton of, ton of like, wait, is, uh, how many pages back is this one? Is that frustrating? Well, we can we can move on. We don't have to wait for me to. All right. Roll initiative. Uh, yes, roll initiative. I, you know. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. It's too late. Yeah, I should have. Uh, actually, no. Because I just I went click. Ozzy goes. Ozzy gets, Ozzy, gets an, Ozzy gets an attack and then we'll roll initiative. Well, it's a good thing that I already have my tack lash in my hand. No sound effect? Minus one. Minus one? You didn't do a sound effect. It's a tack lash in a vacuum. Well, actually, I don't know. Is there air in here? No. Yeah. I made the sound effect. So I can hear it. Let's do it. Nice. Your science accuracy, if, because I feel bad. It's killing me. It's killing me, all the noises. <laughs> I know. Uh, that'd be a 12, Bob. With the tack lash, I guess I'm having a hard time hitting it. That is a miss. It. You're having a hard time. Arm. It is cinched onto your arm. The teeth have punctured your, your armor, <laughs> and it is, it is, it is, you're having a hard time letting it go. All right, everybody give me a uh, your nip check. Eight. Hey, Pinky, one more and you're fired for the night. I rolled an eight. 24 for Ghost. What would you roll, Jeff? 20. No. Where's my name? No, Six. Yeah. Oh, it was a natural 19. Uh, what, Mikey, Bobby, did yours? Uh, Adam, what'd you get? Uh, six. Really? I thought my eight was any bad. Mikey, what'd you get? Uh, 19. Adam, are you running an ILEC? Uh, yeah. Uh, here it is. If Ship you first. Re- Saving throw equals or exceeds the saving throw is successful. You, you. you slam it against the wall, hard enough to rip it free, gouging your arm but preventing 
The implantation. <laughs> the implantation. All right. Um, At least she writes neatly. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Okay. So energy ray is not that, right? No. But she needs an initiative roll. Oh, sorry. You know what? You can roll for for Ilyse. How's that? Uh, Eleven plus one is twelve. All right, ghost is up. Can I see the bad guy at this point? Or is yes, it... you can all see it. Oh, okay. Where is I it? Sh- I'm sorry, I should have put it on the screen. Uh, God. Matara. Okay. Uh, went for a trick attack, succeeded on the stealth roll. So attacking with the azimuth laser. You get a plus one to your attack from me. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, natural 18 puts me at 23. Even without the plus one. Sorry. It's uh, okay. I get it. And I rolled on it now. maximum damage on both rolls. So 4 1d4 and 4 1d4. So 8 fire. Plus your burn damage, right? Did you use your azimuth laser pistol? I did, but it only on a crit. Does it burn? I thought you had crit for some reason. No. Natural. Like you said, both. <laughs> close. Natural uh, <coughs> 18. Nala, you're up. There's another <coughs> one. There's another one. Everyone get that one. <laughs> German. What else do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? and well, they're neighbors. Uh, What's your. Alsace Lorraine. That's where I was hanging out for a while. That's right. What's that? <laughs> That's the easternmost province in France oh. and the westernmost province uh, in uh, Germany. Yeah. It's it's flipped back and forth, but it was from France, from Germany. From, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I'm picturing now more Elsa from... Uh, Frozen? No. Uh, oh. Last Crusade. Oh, she was Austrian. I'm turning, yes. I'm, yeah, that's what I'm turning a little bit more towards. <laughs> yeah. This is how we say goodbye in Austria. <laughs> <laughs> or like... The, <laughs> All right. This is how we say goodbye in Germany. You've been shaking that die for like a minute and a half now. <laughs> Uh, it's it's no dice hand, yeah. <laughs> You're lucky it's a die. Um, I will use my uh, pistol because you don't need anything right here. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll be all right. After all that, I hope you hit. No. Ten. Ten is a miss. Your yeah, laser. What about your plus one? Uh, I rolled a natural eight plus one plus one. <laughs> you have a plus. Oh, that's right. Your agi not your thing. All right. Uh, trigger. All right. Trigger, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. So um, the uh, Akata latched onto Ozzy's arm. He shook it off. And now it is there for your shooting pleasure, for your target practice. Well, let's see what we can do. I don't think she has uh, any AOE it's... attacks. No, she just, just, just as with laser pistol. Oh, no, but people. she has magic hack of selective targeting. <clears throat> so basically you can take one square out of an AOE attack. She doesn't have any AOE attacks. She also has comprehend languages. We're not dealing with languages in this campaign. Uh, you are, actually. You are. Oh, you said in the beginning we're not. From the perspective of regular languages, you're not. But there are archaic languages. You maybe. Oh, okay. What did you roll, my E? Uh, 15. 15 is a hit. And she has no... <coughs> Don't use your spells. And another whopping two points of damage. None of her cantrips do damage. I know. Oh, jewels, 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 jewels. The energy wave does. Energy ray. Yeah, it was a 1d3. She's better off with the azimuth laser pistol. Ilyse is up. Just fire laser pistol. Ilyse fires her azimuth laser pistol. Do it. I'm, d- I'm getting there. Because she's saying it in her head. Come on. Pew, 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 pew. I gotta give you one pew. I gotta give you, give you one pew. <laughs> Uh, oh, so at least see she... Well, it's 16 plus. That's a hit. Okay. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's a 1d4 damage on this bad yes. boy, right? Four. Fire damage. All right. It, uh, it continues to engage the creature in front of it, which would be you. Doing your job. Ooh, natural 16 is going to be a hit. 16 Damn plus it. eight. What? What? Plus eight? Mm-hmm. That's the, I mean, what's your bonus to hit? Oh, mine's six. 
<laughs> but still, if you're all 16, it kind of doesn't see, matter. I mean, like you know, as a CR1, I want to see like a plus one for you too, though. Yeah. I want, you know, the scale is so off the charts. Mine's plus. Like, I have a 19 armor class. My armor class is insane for level two. Yes. And you hit it like it's nothing. Uh, six bite damage, piercing. Once again, it latches on, crushes through your armor a little bit. Uh, if we don't kill it this round, I could do some healing. Where's my pencil? Under your paper. Thank you. And then you're going to need to make your saving throw for the infection. You better roll well. Come on, man. I got to target somebody, not him. I made that throw. Oh, DC is 10. 21. DC is 10. Well done. You see the sucker coming out to... And you just hammer that thing away. <laughs> and it's your turn. That's my... That's my... That's my Payback, some bitch. Uh, defensive... Uh, what's it called again? I want to get the name right. Defensive well, combat. I don't have it up. So, yeah. That defensive thing where it's minus four to hit. Plus two to AC. What do you say? Misses. Mm-hmm. You hit him with the plus one for me? Uh, I rolled a natural six minus four. And now let's start talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, by the top of the order, ghost. Isn't it Nala? Oh, am I? No, you, you have. All right, uh, guess another trick attack. Uh, is the enemy CR two or less? The enemy CRT is CR is one. Okay, so successful trick attack. Trick attack, yes. Uh, eighteen EAC is a hit for oh, nice. ooh max damage eight points of fire damage. And Ghost Shot takes that uh, caught it down. <coughs> yeah. What? You should be uh, obliterating its etherealness all over the all over the room. Talking about how good you are at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I do not need to talk about how good I am. Actions speak louder than words. God, where were we here? You know this captain. Hey, lizard man, how are you doing over there? Uh, do you need a quick stamina boost? I, I don't know if I can, because it might have been a full turn since then. It's like, I think you can only do it in the round after the attack happens. I'm going to reveal the rest of the room for you guys. Since no, I, it has to be well threatened by a significant enemy. Mm-hmm. Or having just been yeah. attacked by an enemy. Mm-hmm. So you, this is engineering. Yes, you or see the rest of engineering with the core minutes, there in front of you. You guys look around. I'll wait here a minute. Let's take a damage from an attack made by a significant enemy at any point after okay. your last turn ended. But we're out of combat. If we can stay out of combat for a good 10 minutes, I spend a resolve point get all my stamina back. You're using up those resolve but points. I can give That's you, what they're there for. But I can give you 8 stamina back. I was down a lot more than 8. <laughs> Does your stamina and your hit points go up every level? Yes. Mm, yes? Yes. It's a okay. Since Sam and hit points, I started to answer positive. And you asked a different question than I expected. <laughs> so I'm at full. I'm at full again. All right. I mean, I, I just regained. But if you thirteen for the thirteen count, stamina, like your resolve points are what save you from death. <coughs> yeah, so don't let me go down for the count. You find an additional no qual cocoon. Oh, all right. Five hundred gold, right? How many people were on this ship? Six. That means we'll have to fight three more of these. Do you think that the cocoons are tied to the people? I would bet that's where the cocoons came from. I at least see response. No, the cocoons are actually found in in wherever the creatures were found. Um, those who are infected, because I remember she rolled quite well oh, for yeah, this. Sorry, we know about the infection. Um, uh, if they are unable to, to um, resist the disease, eventually become something called a void wraith or void blight or something like that. Uh-oh. And it is, uh, it's a pretty ugly... Solution. It's, it's 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 a horrible way to go. Are these things zombies? So are these things like undead? Well, these things are aberrations. I at least you said. Avoid zombie. Avoid, you'll be, they become I believe avoid. they're a zombie. <laughs> so they these are not. These are the no, uh, the economy. But they make. Zombies. I think we just avoid them and everything's okay. <laughs> I'll get, my get, way out. Thank you. Get, 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 get back up. Get back up. <laughs> Benny for that. You lose two bennies. Okay. <laughs> uh, are we in the engine room? Are we in engineering now? Yes. Uh, is that the fusion drive? Excellent. Yes. Trigger, is there anything you can learn in this room about what happened on the ship? We are in engineering. Uh, Mikey? Will you say that again? Trigger, is there anything we can learn in this room? We are in engineering. 
about what happened to the sheep. I mean, if we can get the if the, are the computer systems up and running, we might be able to tap into them. Uh, you would be able to determine some information, but you really need to get to the bridge to get to any logs or anything like that. Can life support be turned on from engineering? Unfortunately, not. For the for the module, I would think that yes. I'm going to allow you to turn engineering. I'm going to turn allow you to turn life support on from engineering. <coughs> I would think that that would be a logical location that you can control those things. Okay. So I need an engineering check, Mikey. DC 15. Okay. I will assist Mikey. DC ten, DC DC ten. This should be trivial. Okay. This is the system's working. DC five. Yep. All right. So in, um, you can hear the air start to hiss and. It is going to take four minutes to completely pressurize the ship. Okay. I immediately take off Ozzy's. Uh... <gasps> Trigger, can you control the artificial gravity in here as well? I, I got nothing. I was going to come back home with a response, but I got nothing. Yes, we no, can. No uh, if we can get the ship pressurized again, we probably can find out where the uh, control, control systems, systems are for the gravity. Because I have an idea. Captain, I propose that we make the artificial gravity 800% in every room that we are not in. And whatever is there is stuck on the floor. Oh, I don't know if we could do it for each room. The, the, the gravity controls don't allow that, that much abuse. That you, you, can get the two, you, you, you can get to zero gravity or two extra gravity. Or two times gravity? Yeah. I don't know if we can do that precision. Hey, Trigger is an excellent engineer. We are no. We don't know if anybody else is still alive on this ship. Are you? Are, are you serious right now? How, how many? Look out! You almost died two times. You think they survived? They are not even combat lizard men like you. This little girl survived twice that long with no weapons and no training. But she had a one lizard man, and that—that mm. that is the difference. True. A vesk is mm. never unarmed. Anything, <laughs> anything in engineering that looks. Useful. Oh, uh, no. Got a penny for that one? I thought that was good. <laughs> damage? If you have to ask, you don't get it. You're right, yeah. <laughs> damage? Uh, no significant damage. Systems have been powered down. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. Uh, are there system logs that tell us? You can only get to the logs from the bridge. Okay. All right. Uh, Let us go to the bridge. Do you want to put the gravity up to 200%? Slow them down a bit. Also slows you down a bit. No, we stand in the hallway and we shoot pew 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 as they slowly come toward us. I am not <laughs> pew, stupid. Pew, pew. I am good at killing things. This is what I do. <laughs> You're assuming gravity affects them. I am. One way to find out. Uh, they are. Uh, they have mass. I would assume. Yes. Science. No. Let us do it. Let us do that gravity thing. No. Ah. Uh. Okay, very confusing. Sorry. Fight defensively is listed as both a full action and a standard standard action in this table here. Weird. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out All right, so happens. high gravity gives you a move half speed. Perfect. Slow him down at the end of the hallway if we're lucky. When's the last time we fought him at range? There could always be a first. Uh, you know what, what has worked for us? <clears throat> OZ up front. Yes, but... <laughs> As you put he has one for us every time. Yes, but at this rate, he will be dead in, like, six minutes. We only have uh, two more compartments to search. Yeah, we, well, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, you will bring the double doors? Yes. We are ready to attack Ozzy and Fur. Hey, the moment we see something down the hallway, can we immediately change the gravity? Yeah. Ah, Okay. I screwed up a little bit, but I don't think it affected anything. All right. If you fight defensively as a standard action, it's minus four to attack, plus two to AC. Mm -hmm. Ozzy, uh, I moved you. Uh, I moved you. Some of you passed the door here. Yep. That is because nothing exciting happens there. Wait, uh, Josh. One thing though: one extra square between Ozzy and the rest of the group. Okay, fine. Thanks. Oh, you can also do it as part of a full attack and make multiple attacks, and get minus four, minus four. Oh. I don't think there's any. Uh, in, in the middle of the hallway here at Ozzy's feet is a dead space goblin. What? Goblins? Yes. Like D&D goblins? Yes, they, they are the riffraff of the universe. Yeah. Of course. Well, don't forget, this isn't is uncommon. They're, yeah. they're like the giant rat 
Okay. No, they're, 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 wait. <laughs> I am curious. Go ahead. See what you're going they're to pretty say. Close to Billy Gore. They're, they're, pretty, they're goblins. They, they're pretty much no different than goblins yeah. in, in, in a fantasy setting. Yeah. They just kind of live off anything anywhere. Yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Gully, Gully Dwarves is perfect. Wait, are they um, Are they in... Is he naked? He's dead. In a space suit. I go well, over, a makeshift space suit. Really? Yes. I go over and look and investigate them. I think we're all going to assist with perception. There isn't much to investigate. Okay. But um, the main corridor seems to run most of the length of the ship from bow to stern. Signs of battle, bullet holes, scorch marks, and droplets of blood are clearly visible on the walls and floors. A small body in a spacesuit lies sprawled on the floor in the middle of the junction of the hallway. So at pretty much where Ozzy is. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, medicine skill to see if I can determine cause of death. For this little space goblin. You don't need to ruin medicine. They're going to kind of tear it to pieces. Mm-hmm. It, its wounds match everything that's happened to Ozzy. <laughs> Does it look like it could be impregnated? Like, should we incinerate the body? Do, it, uh, does decapitating it prevent it from coming back like a, like a zombie? Oh, that's right. It's a zombie thing. Yeah. I don't know. Do I, we know I, how at least about... he, Do you know? Well, she how... doesn't know the details of the, of the, okay. of the disease. Let's... I think we... You know, this would be a good time to go and talk to uh, the... the um, What's his name there? That guy we have communications with. Robo Cosell? <laughs> Gavos Nor. Nor. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait. Except we don't have communications with him because it's a one-way robot. Fucking in the future. <laughs> ah, but we can go back to the ship, to our shuttle. Well, do we have comms linked up through the shuttle? We do. I think we said that before we left, right? He confer- well, no, he just confirmed that our... We Let's keep going. Our shuttle. Okay. Don't we want to dial in and let them know what we've seen? They see it. They know exactly what you've seen. Well, we can ask I think we should get some more information about what do we do with this. Oh, a dead body! What could the cause this? What, what could be the need? cause of death for Radio. this? What do you think the cause of death was? Bad things! I think he died being talked to death by a robo droid. I think that is what happened here. Uh, everybody give me a physical sciences check. I got physical? Yes. I'm a life science. Somebody player. roll uh, uh, ILEC. The chef physical science? Yeah. I got an 18. No, he said somebody, not you. Uh, I, got a, I got a 19 on that job. All right, so you recognize that, um, actually, Bob, if you zoom out just a little bit. 13. That the uh, air locks are, north, are yeah. north, and so, north and south of where you are. Uh, and that, port and starboard. Port and starboard. Yeah, it's not quite. And, and that's um, cargo bays are probably in those vicinities. Because you would put the cargo bay next to the airlock, Let's go and board. then and going straight ahead would probably take you to the bridge. I don't see why we should leave anything behind us that can ambush us from the rear. Well, let's investigate the cargo bay. Well, let's, uh, let, let's let's see. Party. Actually, we should probably go to the bridge, and then maybe we can get some readouts let, of what's going on. Let everybody go in that different direction. I think that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> you are now not the leader anymore. <laughs> this, this, this is this is interesting. Like as an RPG player, like a CRPG player, I want to go. I'm to, going north and south. I'm, yeah. I'm not leaving anything behind me. But if I'm on a ship, you might want to check out bridge. engineering in the bridge. Yeah, I think it's a tough call. Bridge. I agree on the bridge. Yeah, it, it, it feels hurt. It feels dirty to say that, but it's the way to go. <laughs> but I do wonder. Like we could go back to our ship and find out everything we can to find about the Akata. Which might be helpful. Uh, there is so much left for me to tell you. Yes. <laughs> we can go back and send the drone around. Yeah. Do you think send the drone back to us. scan for us? Do we have other drones that we could... Just this one? No. The, the, I don't think, we don't have any control over this drone either. No. We can't even get the damn thing to <coughs> shut up. What could be North? What could be... What could be Star Wars? What Robo could be... Cosell. Up? Robo Cosell. I have an idea for you. Something so exciting. Why don't you go up It zooms there? right in on your face. It's like, like eight inches from your face. Uh, he turns to look. Why don't you go that way and <laughs> see what is there and come back and tell us? Oh, I am not programmed to put myself in danger. There's no danger. Look. Pew, pew. <laughs> he misses you every time. <laughs> that's look, that's, that's, that's a you. magical plot of unity. <laughs> look, you are invulnerable. Look at you. Pew, pew, pew. You know, I, I think, take my second. You know what? I, I, I'm just going to say this right now. Stormtroopers Mandalorian. <laughs> but I can't talk too much more. Have you seen the end of the Mandalorian? That's all I have to say. All right, let's go forward. I think we go forward. Okay. Go forward. Oh. I, okay. Can we throw something down the hallway and then see if that... Let's see if it bounces off of the, the air? Let's see if they see yeah. it and then attack so that you don't... What do we have to throw? Uh, I've got a dead goblin. Best. 
<laughs> Try dead, to throw it. dead goblin is a little hard to throw. I can take off his helmet. Vest. I can take his throw helmet. Throw the dead goblin. Oh, yeah, I am. A, oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> but you wanted to throw him a mask. <laughs> oh, I'm not a dwarf. You can't toss me. I'm like the opposite of a dwarf. Uh, oh, and uh, Ghost will uh, mm. use his bat- like, gun and take off the head of the goblin and just blast it. All right, so if, for those of you who want oh, to see... Oh, at least see, he has a knife. For those of you who want to see one... Hold you, on a second. I will show you a, a goblin. Stick. A stick space to goblin? The, yes. The goblin walk him... To your left, Bob. If only I had a pike. There he is. You could just see him. This is fantastic. <laughs> is there a pike anywhere? Any, Not yet. Like a there's your sheet. space. There's your space column. Of course, <laughs> the dead one is a little different, but let's, Bob. And it's got a helmet. We stick a pike Broken. in the back of the goblin, and he walks down the hall. Yes. <laughs> Pinocchio style. We grab a pipe from one of the the conduits on the side of the yeah. co- corridor. <laughs> And then just <laughs> impale. Because that would never make anything go wrong. And look, this should only make the ship go better. If we lose life support, we got suits. We're That's just an engineer. There's pipes in engineering. <laughs> There's a science lab back this there somewhere. This is a great idea. We could use a railing. The railing. He would, he would, okay, this is our 10 foot pole. Yeah. <laughs> so, right? Just from, from the perspective, he would not be ready for combat then. That's the only response. He's never ready. I could drop it as a free, free action. action. Yep. And I have the. Um, uh, what's it Defense called? Defense as the offense. No, 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 even better. Um, Stand still. The quick release sheath, so I can get my tack lash out as a swift action. I, let's do it. This is great. All right, so you're 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 going back. You're finding a railing and engineering that like protects you from walking into the engine, and will rip off a portion of the. Maybe you find a piece of pipe back there. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you jam it through the dead body. Yep. Which we've already shattered the head, by the way. Oh, the, 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 the mask is already broken off. Oh, broken. We're still, I'm still destroying the head. All right. Now it's a gross bloody why, puppet. Why the head? Uh, in case it's a zombie. What do problems. we know about zombies? I, I'm just destroying it. I don't... We should destroy the whole body pretty badly then, if that's what you're afraid of. Well, you're piercing it, so if it comes to life, it'll be at the edge of a, of a pipe. <laughs> I mean, I, I am pretty strong. I just... At least it won't be able to see you if that's I blow up its head. So you take your pipe... You stand over the creature, jam it into its... You've rolled over. Jam it into its back. I'll take 20. Yeah. Uh, nice. Stand it up. And make it dance like a puppet on the end of a string. Are right. your viewers enjoying this now? These, I bet this is was... one of the most bizarre things I have. We have... We as a... As a... As a... As a... Uh, uh, set Force of worlds has <laughs> ever seen... Using uh, a dead goblin. Talk about disrespecting the dead. I don't know what to think right now. This goblin, <clears throat> using this goblin in this manner, could save all of our lives. I think it's a well. I think the goblin race would be happy that this member of the race could serve us all so well. Oh yes, very happy. Yes, what the lizard man says. We they would rainbows and cupcakes. <laughs> They are so happy. They are singing together. Can I have a for a second? I just start with a bit of Bob. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you scroll up, Bob? I, I revealed what you guys see. Oh, apologies. Um, your, your best guess is that is probably the door to the bridge. There are tunnel. There are openings to the... Okay. Instead of sticking my arm around a corner with my personal sound <laughs> device, I just kind of make the goblin walk in front of me. The goblin dances <laughs> this in is front be of fun you. To write up. you got to put this on a board somewhere. <laughs> the goblin dances in front of you. I don't like the multiple ambush points here. Though. No, that's what he's just kind of. Right, you get to the uh, to the one square prior to the intersection. <laughs> you extend the dancing, the dancing goblin. goblin. Oh wait, uh, can we call him uh, Bernie? No, is it weekend of Bernie's? Weekend of Bernie's. Bernie. You extend Bernie <laughs> into the open space, <laughs> and nothing happens. We've given this goblin a name. It shall be Bernie. <laughs> Scarecrow has no, no does not get attacked. Jiggle it, you make him dance a bit. Yeah. I wiggle it, just a, a little, little bit. bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, you still with us, man? We're so oh, I'm here. I'm sorry. This is the kind no, of stuff no, we no, said we were going to stop it, doing. It's pretty it's funny, man. It's you know what? Okay. I don't. I don't have a problem with this. It is funny, but it is advancing where we're going. That's so I don't true. have a problem okay. with it at all. <laughs> It doesn't drive oh, yeah. me nuts at all. We go back to engineering. At least we're goofing around in game. Exactly. Where, where we see down those corridors. <clears throat> all right. So Ozzy's going to advance one more square. 
Up to you. Uh, I think Ash is going to let peek, the... peek around or have uh, you soak your peek around. Yeah, I think Ash should have a They have good reflexes, right? Yeah, but horrible fortitude. If there's a creature... Just, just peek around me. Uh, hmm. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Look, nothing's attacking the goblin. <laughs> nothing's attacking Bernie. Grab the goblin. Grab the goblin. <laughs> All the things that yeah, aren't grabbing the goblin. Grab the goblin is seen. All right, are you... Is anybody looking around the corners? No. I'll go up and look around the corners. All right, Nala, Nala puts on her big boy pants, which the, apparently the Choki don't have. At least they're as tight as you can... The pants wear. that we wear about the size, same size as a toddler, I just want to point out for the record. There are no big boy pants. <laughs> so uh, yes, the Choki do not have big boy pants. That's correct. Actually, I'll go ahead and Might make your little pants look loose. Yeah. <laughs> Athletic. What is she wearing? Athletic. Athletic. Top and bottom, you can see there's doors in, on each side. Um, your best guess, these are probably, probably access some crew quarters, maybe the galleys up here. Any signs of a struggle, fight, blood on the ground? The whole, the whole area is shot up in a mess, but you oh, don't see any, any, da- oh. any bodies. And you don't see any dead back to the... Do we see like, like blast marks on the walls? In the yeah, oh, yeah, scorch marks, bullets. Oh, so it's marks back to the, yeah, I said that a little while ago. To so the forward stuff. doors, I call everybody forward. So I'm looking up, I'm looking... Where the bridge is. Port. Oh, okay. and, um, and, uh, port is to the top. Yep. I suppose I can look starboard. And peek down starboard while everybody else proceeds towards uh, the uh, okay the bridge doors. Scooby Doo. No, that's uh, uh, yeah. that's Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Yeah. All right, so you have you you progressed to the bridge if you wished. Yes. 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 Are you entering the bridge? Or are you the bridge with uh, a goblin? Gobbly? Somebody has Gobbly to. I, I, somebody, somebody has to open the door with Ozzy. I am entering. I'll open the door with Ozzy. Which well, you, you open the door and then we make the yeah. goblin dance in, or Bernie can dance in. Weapons are readied. All right. M- mine are definitely not readied. <laughs> One day Just, you'll have a pike. Then you can two for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I look up at your head. Would be on a pike. And how do this? You don't know that one. You know that one. <laughs> Someday that is that one will be worth watching. B five. Ah, I watched two episodes. All right. You're, you're almost there. Need like another hundred, I think. Yes. The pilot. Really bad. Yeah, I know. Chap- but they replaced the worst actor. So Se- season one is pretty rough. Yeah. And then it just shot us through. All right. The doors open. <laughs> to reveal a sign that says "To be continued." Actually, there, there's a battle in here, but it's 11.20. It's up to you guys if you want to fight it or not. I'm okay with to be continued. I want to, I want to come back with Bernie. But do you have school drum? Yeah. You're, like, pretty awake right now. I, I've been awake all day. Yes. yes. I don't know how that happened. All right. Understood. You guys, do you guys... I, it's, up, it's up to me. It's up to you guys. I'm going to pee. You guys make a vote. I'll run it either way. Josh has seven meetings tomorrow. Maybe I don't care about those. I'm going to sleep around. Two of them are mine. I only have to lecture you have every meeting tomorrow. Every every section is a meeting for you. Is it easy when you're tired? Is it easier to lecture or to like do testing? Testing. Okay. I don't know how like because you, you, they're doing the test. You're sitting at your desk. <laughs> you know. I uh, I fake it till I make it. I've been doing it. that for forty plus oh, years. I, I really <laughs> want to teach these kids right now. I really want to teach these kids. All right, molecular orbital theory. All right. Oh, you're doing a review right now, aren't you? No, not yet. You're not even doing the review yet? You already do midterms? Midterms are two weeks. Mm. So you're teaching more before you go back and review stuff. Mm. Whose idea was that? Are we going to review for two weeks? Yeah, that's a long time. So we'll review for one week and move the exams We'll review for like two days. <laughs> are, are we, we gave the are kids we, the packets. Are we I'm entering so the board? To school that did We're going to call it. We're going to call it. That's fine. We, we, it's going to be a late night and people have important things to do like teaching our young... Yeah, but I don't know if the young in this town are really that worth teaching. <laughs> that was fun. It's a town. Really cool. Well, the town. The town, I should have said. Ship uh, stats coming back for you, Joel. Two for me, two for Jules. Oh, hang on. The three are here, Benny. Where's Jules' is sheep? Okay, with it. Jeff, two. Jules, two. Adam, two. I'm keeping the captain's... I gotta go find that. The sheet we you and I used the other day was so much better than everything yeah. we found. 
How many bennies do you have right now, Mikey? Four. Three. Three. Oh, you cap three? out at three? You cap out at three. I'm not going to give you a new one every turn if you don't use them. Oh, okay. Then three. Sorry. Adam, you had two? Two. Jules had two. Jeff had two. Everybody's got two. Mikey's got three. I did find this nice GMT cheat sheet. Nice. Well, it's got, it's got environments, conditions, concealment, disease, gravity, uh, and then... All the consumables you on the back. You did look up gravity very quickly. Yeah, that was actually very impressive. That's because it was on the sheet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't think 200% gravity is not a good idea? Let's... Actually, it's I was... Is that like a major speed advantage? Maybe? I was really happy that I came up with a, a way for you not to abuse that too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mikey. Peace out. Yeah. Mike. I think we're two weeks yeah. out. I think it's long yeah. Yeah. Try to be remote if I'm trying. Right. You're still two weeks put you here, Mikey, or is that three weeks? Three weeks. Uh, no. Um, I'm not there on the week of the 24th. Seventh. Okay. Yeah. We're off a week, we're on a week, and then Mikey's here. Okay. So if you... So if, we're off the 13th on the 20th and 27th? Yes. Okay. Uh, the 20th, if Bob is out, we, we'll, we'll, consi we'll reconsider that, but, you know, that's that. So. 27th is a big date to me. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right, Mikey, have a good one. Yeah, yeah, Mikey. That's pretty much because I am, and technically, just so you guys know, I'm technically uh, flying in on the 24th, uh, and I'm Bob and I looking to bed. Connecting on the 27th, and then uh, back into New York City for work. Wow. Well, we'll appreciate seeing. Are we? Who else are you seeing besides us? What's that? Who else are you seeing besides us? Uh, God, I'm going to try to see as many people as I possibly can see. Tell Gail I uh, miss her. Yeah, so I'll probably see Gail. As as I got to head to New York to see some family there. Um, and then the rest of the time I'll be in Connecticut. And then if you really want me to cook dinner on Monday, you go. No, I want you to see, your, I want you to see everybody else but us. We'll take care of dinner. Okay. Is, I, 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 I will speak for Bob in this case, or all of us. Is there a place you would like us to get dinner from that you miss? Even if it's Captain's Pizza. Yeah. Oh. Think about it. You, you don't have to say now, but think about it and let us know. We'll make sure that happens. Uh, I'm going to be honest, and, and uh, I have missed pizza really <laughs> bad. I've heard yeah. that. Okay. Casanova, okay. Captains, Roseland. Well, you, you you named two good places and one bad place. Vincent's, Artan. I mean, so I, Friday you know. really good. And, 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 and Tartan. Else, we like that one. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll talk about pizza as an, as an option. We haven't had pizza in a long time. Yeah, it's true. So, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, there there's there's some okay pizza out here. Austin had some horrible pizza. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we'll talk about it. All right. Hey, awesome guys, you guys have a safe week, um, and I'll catch up with you soon. You too, happy new year, Thank you, buddy. Happy new year, man. Thank you guys, thanks, bye. 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 Those are, is this your bag?